Hey everybody, how are we doing? Can you hear me? Can you see me? I'm so excited. Today is the day. The dawn of a new of a new Zelda game is upon us. Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom. Man, I'm excited. Been looking forward to this for years and years and years and years. How we doing, everybody? Uh, all right. So, as a lot of you see, we have a giveaway going right now. That giveaway is for. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on Nintendo Switch. But you might be thinking, the game, what's the game if I can't have something to play it on? So the giveaway winner also gets this special edition Nintendo Switch OLED Tears of the Kingdom themed Switch. Okay? That's what's happening. We're going to be giving away that today. Now, as a lot of you see... Um, you are going to be able to buy tickets with Blind Wave Bucks. And if you don't know what Blind Wave Bucks are, well, that's something that you earn every minute for watching the stream. So if you want one buck, you wait around one minute, you're going to get one. You can uh, submit up to 10 tickets, and that's the max. Everybody gets 10. However, subscribers here at twitch.tv slash Blind Wave are going to get two times the chances. So you can get up to 20 Blind Wave Bucks. I think I got all that right. Uh, it does take 20 blind wave bucks per ticket. I forgot about that. So you have to wait a little bit. 20 blind wave bucks for one ticket. I think you'll be able to get the max amount of chances if you're around in the stream around three hours or so. Okay? So we're going to be ending this giveaway around 5 p.m., which is about... Uh, it's about five hours from now. So if you're here and you're watching and you put tickets in... Uh, just make sure you're here around 5 p.m. or five hours from now. It's Eastern Standard Time, so if you're not in the same time zone we are, just go to your phone, go to Google. Like, what time is it in Eastern Standard Time? You need to be here around 5 o'clock. That's when we're going to be polling. Uh, or I should be, uh, I should say, that's when we're going to be doing the giveaway. All right, so I hope everybody uh, enters in, and good luck to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, now that that's out of the way. It's time to start. Uh, yeah, I can repeat uh, again this real, real quick, and uh, people in the chat will be able to say this throughout, but you need to be able to uh, enter in a ticket. So you can use exclamation point ticket, and you can get one ticket if you have blind wave bucks. You, uh, you can, every minute, you're going to be getting uh, one blind wave buck. You need 20 blind wave bucks to be able to put one ticket in, and you can put up to 10 tickets. If you're a subscriber, you can actually put up to, uh, those tickets count uh, twice, pretty much. So you have double the chance if you're a subscriber. Okay? Anyway, that's the nitty gritty. That's not why we're here, though. I mean, maybe that's why you're here. I'm here to play this game that we're giving away. I'm here to experience Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. All right, so we're going to be doing that. Again, come back at 5 o'clock. Uh, here's the thing, too. Uh, as a lot of you that were around whenever I played God of War... Uh, I am not going to be looking at chat for these streams, uh, almost at all. I do have, uh, my mods are going to be able to send me messages if they need to, but yeah, right now, uh, I do have chat and I can see you guys if I want to, but I am zeroing in on Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, okay? So, that's what's going to be happening now. <sighs> Anyway, so... Are you guys ready? Because I certainly am. I'm going to be putting on my headphones, and I'm going to be starting Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And I'm so, so excited. So I have yet to even open it. I've only made sure it's updated. So I think we're ready. Are you ready? Let's do it. I'm going, yeah, it's switching over here. And here we go. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. You only get to play it for the first time once. Nintendo presents. The 
Legend of Zelda. Tears of the Kingdom. This is already hype. <laughs> Under Hyrule Castle, Zelda's the cape is amazing. Keeps getting thicker. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? I knew that one. Oh my god, we're going right into it. I'm playing. <laughs> okay. All right. Zelda's going that way, but I got to see what's up here. Link, has something caught your attention? Whatever it is, we can plan to look on our way back out. Let's continue our descent. All right. Continue the descent. Beneath. Hyrule Castle. Alright, we have luminous stones down here, or at least that's what it looks like to me. In Breath of the Wild, they said that luminous stones were said to uh, hold the souls of those who came before, so there's that going on. Oh, we can talk to Zelda! People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going with it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. Mm. We okay. do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But. I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. All right. <sighs> gloom. We gotta watch out for gloom. It's making people ill. What is gloom? All right. Zelda feels like she's safe with us, and Link is safe with us too, right? Because we are the champion spirit. We are the spirit of the champion that's been with Link since Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, all of that stuff. Breath of the Wild. We've been here with Link to give him guidance. And that's his power. That's why he's literally Link. He is our Link to be the Triforce of Courage for this world. I'm so fucking excited to play. <laughs> I never imagined this was all deep. Wait, I never imagined. Okay, let me try it again. I'm gonna try to do some voiceover too. I never imagined this was all deep beneath Hyrule Castle. We had the Master Sword. We got our basic controls here. Everything seems to be uh, similar to Breath of the Wild, at least so far. I'm going to have a look at the options just to see uh, what there is to see. I don't have any amiibos, so I'm not going to worry about that being disabled. I'm not going to invert anything. Uh, are there any recommended control changes that people have had so far? I realize it's day one, but I don't know. HUD mode. I'm going to leave HUD mode on normally. My last Breath of the Wild stream, I actually turned the HUD off, and it was glorious. <laughs> I loved it. It was so immersive. I'm going to leave the HUD on normal for now. Maybe we'll change that later. But, yeah, I imagine everything seems fine. So we'll probably keep that. I don't know why I started changing this. I think it's because I was trying to hit what I thought was the back button. English. Special controls. 
Okay, I don't know what that is. All right, that's good. Huh? What was that? Link. The Master Sword. It's glowing. Orcs are near. Hmm. It must be sensing something. I know we had a reason for concern. Ever since the end of the Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. Hmm. But I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels we were hiding here. We're hiding here. <gasps> We must be careful as we move deeper. Zelda, I am peak careful right now. Peak! Don't feel like you need to hustle. Oh, the gloom's getting a little thicker. If you don't know this about me, I'm a huge Zelda lore nerd, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of exploring but these, uh, these eggs here, interesting. Link, look here! Hmm. These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. Might these ruins be from the Zonai? <laughs> Oh, Zelda has a new Sheikah Slate. Look at it. It looks just like a switch. <gasps> These carvings. I'm sure they're Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like these in my studies. The Zonai are said to have lived long ago in the time of earliest legend. They possess godlike powers and had a prosperous Prosperous civilization in the sky. Hmm. Hmm. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none of them give the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. The Zonai came from the sky. Interesting. I was thinking they might have come from below, but there goes my speculation. Ah! Look at these statues! They had to be of Zonai. They kind of remind me of the Zepho from Jedi Fallen Order. I love how inquisitive Zelda is, too. I wonder why this one is different than the others. Maybe not. I guess there's one on the other side, too. Hmm. Interesting. I know I have not made much progress yet. Is this what the Zonai look like? They seem so different than us and such large ears. How did the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up beneath the castle? It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. Interesting that she points out their large ears. Hylians also have large ears in order to hear the gods, as was said in Ocarina of Time by a... Uh, random town person. Hmm. The ruins we're seeing down here. I'm certain this must all be from the Zonai civilization. Oh, you screwed. You screwed, Keese. <laughs> One! That's the first death of this run! You are not hurt, are you, Link? Eyes up here, Zada. Look at these murals! The 
written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. Mm -hmm. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. The Imprisoning War? Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? Oh, there's so much. This is similar to the statues we saw earlier. Azoni. And these figures look like Hylians. Mm -hmm. They do. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zoni descended from the heavens. This music is so interesting. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. Born from a union These with... These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish... The kingdom. The kingdom of Hyrule. Yeah, okay. Huh, interesting. <laughs> he seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. Okay. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. Oh. And then this. It shows the Demon King. And a fierce battle against him. <clears throat> If the creature depicted here really does represent the Demon King, then... Then... Oh. Incredible! This mural must be the Great War recorded in the Royal Histories! This is the Imprisoning War! The Imprisoning the War! events that led up to it! They talk about the imprisoning war in the beginning of A Link to the Past. All right, then. Now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it oh, behind. Pura made this. Sweet. It's so easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. Oh, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. That looks bombable. Oh. Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. All right. Link, let's keep moving deeper. Oh, I love this music. All right, so we have Ganondorf and the uh, the history of the Imprisoning War. So, hmm, interesting. In Skyward Sword, the goddess Hylia, who was meant to guard the Triforce, which was created by the three goddesses at the beginning of the world. She made herself mortal, and that was the line of Zelda, right? That was the Skyward Sword Zelda, was the reincarnation of Hylia. But here we have the Zonai coming down from the heavens and creating a union with Zelda's descendants, and that was the beginning of the Kingdom of Hyrule. So I gotta try to filter this all in to my knowledge of the of the game so far, but also appreciate it as its own thing as well. It doesn't need to be connect into all that stuff. It's just fun to think about. Uh, but yeah, I uh, want these in my bathroom at home. All right, let's go with Zelda. Let's look around. I don't know how much down here we got, but we have the Zonai and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What could be tears? Ah, oh, okay. Let's keep going. I'm just too excited. I'm sorry. Um. Well, I do have a sword beam, but I don't think I have any bombs or anything. I'm sorry, Zelda. That wasn't a cat call. I'm so sorry. Uh oh. The gloom is getting a little thicker through here. We 
We're going deep. The the music has this feeling of like backward speech, like someone's trying to tell us something. What is this place? Oh, there's a log, cool. Let's continue, Link, but we must be extremely careful. Is our dry boy? Huh? Why did that happen? Put it back. Put it back. Damn you, Malice! Oh, this is so Princess Mine, okay. Link! The Master Sword just broke. Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. Zelda. Carries that fragile sword. A link. Raru yeah. placed his faith in you. Raru? And that was all you could do. Who's Raru? How do you know our names? The Sage of Light? Morning. I really it's take warning. Man, he just woke up and he's this powerful. Alright. Oh man. The master sword Zelda! We're not gonna we're not, we're not gonna catch her. Seen too many trailers now. <sighs> well, there's that yellow glow. Chica here, in Hylians. And things are falling, the castle raised. Okay. Where did the hand take us? I am so in already. <laughs>
Looks pretty plus ultra to me. Ah, oh, dude, we look like Anakin from the Gindy Teriyaki Clone War series. The hair, my hair's much longer. Was it that long? I guess it was tied up. Dude, I've never had nails before. Not like that. Link, finally you wake. Who took my clothes? I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Okay. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. How much time has passed? <sighs> How could Ganondorf break the Sword of Evil's Bane? And where the hell am I? Dude, look at Link's hair swish, baby. Oh, L'Oreal. Eat your heart out. Decayed Master Sword, the sword that seals the darkness. It is sacred. Its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. So it's not necessarily malice, it's gloom. Gloom that's making people sick, and that gloom has diminished the Master Sword? That's insane. Whoa. Look at this new HUD. Don't got much, but I got this. Equip. Use your weapon. Attack with your equipped weapon. How is it stick? Oh, okay, there's like a little bit of a of a sheath there. Okay, cool. A scabbard, I should say. Sheath is what you do to a sword. Okay. Interesting. It, it it feels almost kind of like a, like a divine beast feel to it, but whereas those felt Sheikah inspired, yeah, this is Zonai inspired. Okay. Look at my footprints. Oh, dude. Little boy Eric's mind would be blown by this game. Adult Eric's mind is blown by this game. And I haven't even started. I don't even know where I am. Alright. Um, I don't know if I can do anything else in here, but... Having seen some trailers and stuff, maybe using the Ascend uh, feature there to... I don't know, maybe not. Let's keep going. 
have a question. When you guys play stuff like this, like, I'm very, like, uh, I'm really cinematic uh, when I want to play the game. So, like, right now, I don't feel like Link would just be running as fast as he could. Like, he's got to walk and experience new things, just like I do. Like, I don't know. I, I, mean, I don't know if it's annoying or not, but it's what I like to do. All right. Is there underwater? I mean, we're treading right now, but... All right, we can still do this, though. If you Z-target, you can do the animations from Ocarina of Time. <laughs> uh, it's a dash. Okay. Jump is X. Yep. Excuse me. Well, as of now, there's no dive mechanic, so I don't know if that's something that they've added in or not. If not, it's okay, but I really wanted it. That extra little splash raining down is... A really cool new detail. So it doesn't matter how high we are. If we land in water, we're good. Good, that makes sense. You might say, well, that's unrealistic. But no, Link has the spirit of the champion in him. The spirit of the hero. And that spirit is us. So he lives from that distance because of us. Yeah. We can still crouch. Targeting still works. Is this a chest? Archaic legwear. Simple, classic legwear. They're well-worn and showing their age, but they still got a few good years left in them. It can be a bit cumbersome to have to tie the straps. Quit. Yeah. Cool. Open inventory, yep, got it. It is very Roman, it feels like. I feel like Spartacus on the first day of gladiator training. Well. We're already up here. What is this place? Dude, this is such a cool moment. Like, I know I've been seeing this type of thing in a lot of the, the uh, marketing materials and trailers, but it's so different to be able to actually see it for the first time. Death Mountain down there. All right, let's jump. That dragon. Oh, give me the title. so high. 
I was higher than those birds. All right. That was uh that was a good jump. <laughs> All right, let's have a look around in this lily pad uh water. Water looks gorgeous. Everything looks gorgeous. Look at this. It's like I'm playing a painting. It really does have a feel of playing like a uh, Studio Ghibli game. Or a movie, I should say. Tree branch. Okay. Man, the decayed master swords won. It's worse than a tree branch. That's crazy. Sky Shroom, a common mushroom that grows near trees on sky islands. Eat it to restore health. Man, I can't use my Magnesis trick. Like I would turn Magnesis on and it would highlight everything that's collectible around. Can't do that now. All right, here's a guy over here. A construct. Apple, a common fruit eaten by people since ancient times. Eat it fresh or cook it to increase its effect. Trying to work on the timing. Nope, too late. Zonite Charge, a material used as a power source for constructs and other devices. Its strange light seems to reveal potent energy inside. Soldier Construct Horn, a blade-like horn from a soldier construct. It's very sharp, so handle with care. All right. Well, I don't know quite what to do with them yet, so let's keep looking around. We'll gather some branches when we can. Look at this. Oh my God, this place is so big. Oh my God. Is this all one island? Oh my God, <laughs> it's so big. All right, all right, where does the game where should we go? Oh, the free. I feel such freedom. Uh, let's go over here. Huh? Wooden stick. It has a power of four. A tree branch with an added grip and excellent balance. Equip it and use it as a weapon. Oh, man, I know this game. You ever go out into the woods and you find, like, this is a good stick. This is an especially good stick. Yeah. All right. I don't know what this shrine here is. Seems pretty elaborate just to house a really good stick. Everybody in chat doing good? I'm sorry if I'm not paying a lot of attention, but I'm just... Having a great time. <laughs> I hope you all uh, that choose to are having a good time playing. This is going to be a, a large part of my uh, of my time for the next couple of months, and I'm happy that you're here, right here on Twitch.tv/blindwave. So, 
All right, let's see what we got over here. Some type of ruined wall. So the Sky Islands have not just these, uh, I don't know, more complete buildings, but also some ruins, implying they've been here for a very, very long time. You don't seem dangerous. I don't think. Steward Construct. Link, I have waited for you. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. Her chic asleep. She left this for us? This is the Puropad. I am told it is an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. I'm assuming they're like robots. The Puropad. I want, I want a cover like this for my Switch. They gotta make them, I'm sure they do. Purapad, Princess Zelda's prized device. It has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. Cool. Use the features of the Purapad here with, uh, okay, got it. I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. My message has been delivered. Where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. Garden of Time? The Temple of Time is visible from here. What? There's a Temple of Time up here? It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more. Now it is a lonely place. No one visits. Oh, another one of those. Okay. All right. Find Princess Zelda. This is the Garden of Time. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on the map. Found in the pad. Garden of Time? Yes, this is the Garden of Time. The structure visible to the north is the Temple of Time. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. Now it is a lonely place. No one visits. Apologies. I cannot help but reminisce. Head to the indicated location. Take care as you do so. Uh, he had something else to say too, right? Goodbye. All right. All right, so the indicated location is that way. Um, I don't know if I have any sort of bigger map right now, but I'm sure when I do, it'll prompt me. Let's examine. Oh, man. What we got here? Awesome. Um... Okay, cool. <laughs> I got a tree stream, everybody. Do we know who sent the tree stream? Atoya Was, thank you so much. Uh, here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little bit uh, to have and then put it over there and anybody's allowed to have some. Okay. Paul, thank you so much. You know what you're doing. I already ate it all. You already ate some. This is so nice. Thank you. I'm going to take this sauce and then I'll take uh, one of these. But yeah, go ahead and... Put the rest over there, and anybody's welcome to them, and I'll put them in the fridge. But thank you so much, Atelier Wass. I, uh, man, I was so ready for this game already. <laughs> like, I got two different drinks. I got some snacks. I got a uh, double-dipped chocolate peanuts and some juju cinnamon bears. I don't know what those are, but they look good. So I got some of those uh, for snacks as well. I am ready. All right, let's get back into it. So it looks like this bridge just opened up whenever I activated whatever that thing is. 
But yeah, bridges are gonna be nice with all these sky islands, I suppose. Let's look in this ruin. Anything up in here? Got a tree branch. Throw weapon. You can throw weapons in your hand. Yeah, I know that. Okay. So I can easily switch to something like this and throw. And go pick it back up. All right, let's make sure we got the aiming down. Yeah, okay, that works. Want to look around a little bit. Yep, okay, here's some resources. Sky shrooms. More sky shrooms. Just have a look around, make sure we're not missing anything too big. These trees are quite big. No bird nest or anything. We did see that there were birds up here, though. Alright, let's continue on. Um, I plan on going pretty long today, at least till 5 p.m., but that's really just when I'm going to be doing the giveaway. I'm going to keep playing until I'm done. Uh, and when I say done, I don't mean with the game, but I mean, like, I feel like I've played a lot today. So it's just going to be by feel, really, but we're going to be here a while today. Definitely. Zonite Charge, a material used as a power source for constructs and other devices. Its strange light seems to reveal potent energy inside. Okay, so there's Zonite Charges and uh, rubbles of these constructs as well. I guess kind of similar to Guardian parts and Guardians. I do not want to climb down. Alright, that's a jump point it looks like. Let's uh, look over here. Break jars. Hello, you seem to be new here. Be wary of soldier constructs as you travel this way. Soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to protect this land. The Zonai who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will continue to, uh, they will consider you a trespasser too. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. It is crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponents. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. Mm -hmm. You may practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but please do not actually attack. I'm so curious what happens when I attack. Saying please don't attack makes me curious. Don't you understand? That's Gamer Eric speaking. Link would not attack someone that asked not to. I can't. I can't do it. I can't. We are the spirit of the hero. We can't do it. We will not attack things that do not belong to us. Or ask us not to. That was different. That's pots. Pots are different.
All right, let's make our way to the Temple of Time, I guess. Frog, 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 frog! Frog! Ah! No! Oh, God dang it. Well, this run is cursed. We better start over. I need a shield. Already can't carry any more weapons, huh? I mean, I guess we got apples, but meat, protein, I gotta build up these muscles. Look at my arm. We'll leave the birds alone. We need to respect that the, uh, oh. Never mind. We don't need to respect shit. frog a quick frog that can be found hopping around near water cook it with monster parts to draw out the speed boost effect <laughs> yes I am the master of this domain oh don't drop anything down there foggy up here. Dodge that one, good. All right, let's uh, look and see. We need to do some healing. Uh, we'll do that with apples for now.
Toasty Sky Shroom. A simple grilled sky shroom. The heat brings out its flavor and increases the amount of health it can restore. Ah, I roasted that. But it is yours if you want. You roast them? Oh, I had not noticed before that you were unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Among my task is to explain anything that visitors might require knowledge of. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer them. I recall that your question was about roasted food. I roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire. Do I do not eat, but I am given to understand that it proves the taste. Our creators roasted in ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invite you to use this fire to roast them. Okay, we can do that. Uh, that's our, f okay. So that's the toasty. So let's do, select for recipe. Toasty sky shroom, okay, cool. cooked that one. Are they not close enough? There you go. Cool. Alright. Let's grab some more. And these apples. All of them. <laughs> Baked apple. Direct heat. Soften, sweet. Yep, yep, we know. Don't want to lose any. Alright, you said that you would answer questions. How many more questions do you have? You are welcome to warm yourself by the fire. I encourage you to roast any ingredients. I'm gonna have a little of my cheese stick. Okay. Well, let's go into the Temple of Time. Well, that construct is busy roasting apples over there. He should get over here and clean up these steps. Ooh, you got a shield. Wooden shield, an aged, worn out shield. Uh, it can withstand lighter attacks such as arrows. Okay. And a rusty broadsword. This once fearsome sword has seen better days. It can do some damage in the right hands, but it also breaks quickly. Alright, uh, this is gonna be destroyed soon, so. Somebody else's problem.
so interesting. There's a Temple of Time up here as well. I don't have the right key in this hand. That door will open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am Raru. Oh, you're Raru. Source of the right arm. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. No longer have physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. Okay. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? The shrines. Yes, I am sure they are the key. Okay. So we can power up the arm with shrines. All right. Now, when they say shrine, do they mean shrine shrines? The closed door, new objective. Open the adventure log. When you tried to open the door of the Temple of Time, uh, Raru appeared and said he was the original owner of the new arm. He said you need to revitalize the arm and shrines. A green light spirals above each of them. This is called the Great Sky Island. All right, we're going to track this. All right, let's head over to that shrine then. Thank you, Vexical. That's very nice. Seems like a long drop. Common arrow. The shaft was carved from the wood of a sturdy tree. That means that boy up there probably has a bow. All right, let's go and see if we can sneak up on them. Be quiet. Try not to make too much noise. I don't even know if they have ears. Nope. Old wooden bow. It's built for hunting, but it's not very powerful. Alright, cool. We got some arrows. We got the construct horn. Lots of arrows around, too. I see any more? I don't think I see any more. All right, let's uh, practice. Seems to work very similar to the way it did in Breath of the Wild, so I think we're good with that then. Do 
Do I care about the game being only 30 frames a second? Not really. Um, I mean, if I can put it up, I would, but not really. It doesn't bother me at all. Some type of rail system? It looks like. It's... Doesn't look useful right now, but... That's interesting. Okay. Maybe a way of connecting the islands. Hmm. All of these parts around here seem like it's definitely something you can do to get over there when we want to. But we're heading this way. Mushroom. A mushroom you can grow almost anywhere, but prefers ceilings and sheer cliffs. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your movement speed. Alright. That's good. Yeah, so with the, uh, with the giveaway, you just need to try to make sure that you're here at 5pm, which is in about 4 hours or so um, right now. And that way, uh, if I call your name, you're here. If you're not here, uh, I will redraw a new name. So just letting you guys know about that. Whoa. Look over there. Can I get over there? Uh, that seems kind of far away right now, but I might be able to make a bridge with materials later. But not right now. That looks to be... Let me try to get my bearing. Where are we right now, like, in relation to the ground? Hmm. That could be... I don't know. Hebra over that way, but I, I'm not really sure. Let's keep going. Ukoa Shrine. Okay, so this is what the shrines are now, huh? Is there still a puzzle inside? Ooh, look at the dragon. I don't think I recognize that dragon, but I can definitely see the uh, storm cloud a lot better over here. I'm trying to find any landmarks of the Hyrule below, but I honestly, I can't tell. All right, let's check out this shrine. Let's open a door, okay. Whoa, cool. Okay. What's this? The loading screen? Tips and tricks. Check the screen for Oh. 
So, you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. <laughs> now then, extend your hand. Na, 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 na. It's that hand symbol, okay. My hand can be a hand, that makes sense. Ultra hand! Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. Ah, oh, <laughs> I've been waiting so long for this. <laughs> this is the ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you will be able to build a great number of things, really, Anything you can imagine. Mm. Use Ultra Hand and receive the blessing from this shrine. All right. Use ability. Activate. Okay. So Ultra Hand is at the left there. The ability to create Ukoa Shrine. Oh, dude, these, uh, they have, like, little, like, zen gardens down there in the rubble. That's cool. You can't climb on them? Okay. Simple, okay, cool. I like this music. Oh, I actually should practice that, shouldn't I? Rotating. Rotate with R. Hold R. Wait. I don't understand. Oh, okay. I see. Interesting.
Cool. I don't know what the balls were for. Maybe, I don't know. We'll experiment more, but that taught us the basics. Something up there. Can I get up there, or is that just teaching me that you can add things? I think that's just teaching me, maybe. I'm not really sure. How would I even get up there? Hmm. I can always come back in if I want to. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. All right, cool. Got rid of a little evil in there, huh? All right. Light of Blessing, a crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. And heals you. May the Light of Blessing grant you the strength you seek. I like this map version of the uh, loading screen. That's kind of cool. Oh. You did very well getting through that shrine, and you restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. Hmm. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins, You'll never lose track of where they are. The Purapad offers a very useful scope. It's quite handy. Okay, so we can press R and then place pins. Okay. So. We got one there. All right, that's the only one I really see right now. So let's head over. Um, let's go try to do this. There's water down here. What is that gong?
Here we go. Oh, dude, this... This is going to be such a fun game. I can already tell. It's pretty uh, basic what we've done so far, but still, come on. All right, there's a guy over here. What's this? Stone axe. All right, we're going to be getting some good stuff. Let's, uh... Get rid. Oh, you can drop right from here. Okay. Drop. Let's get rid of these. Drop and drop. Cool. Some wood. Fix your gaze forward. Face it head on. Hmm? Pardon me. I was absorbed in my wood cutting. Are you here for woodcutting too? Woodcutting? Woodcutting is the practice of chopping down trees to create logs. Logs can be combined to assemble platforms. You can also chop them down further to make wood. Huh. You can make platforms? Okay, cool. Lumber has many uses. That is why I come here daily to chop wood. And yet I still find it difficult to chop them down in the intended direction. This is why you may have heard me muttering the phase, uh, muttering to myself, fix your gaze forward, face it head on. Ah, uh, I apologize. I've been rambling for some time. There is an ax I no longer need over there. It is yours if you want to use it for some wood cutting. All right, well, I created a uh, fire. Because it was on fire. All right, um, let's... Uh... Let's cook some of these. Let's cook five. There's a box here, too. Zone I charge. Oh. I see they're still at work, even now. We originally created the constructs to assist in our endeavors. All of us were fond of them. I never imagined they would continue to carry out their assigned task to this day. The fact that their labor no longer serves any purpose, yet they perform it still, it is disquieting to me. Mm. Here's a boat. Alright, we're looking, we're going in this direction. We're going to need to at least build a bridge to get us there. Alright, we can uh, grab some of these planks. Let's stick them together before we make the bridge. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and chop one. Okay. We 
we need to do this. I need to hit the attach button. And let's get one more. It's longer. All right, cool. Good. Huh. Fish, fish. Uh, I can't see it very well. Maybe another time. And these just stay in the air? Okay. Amber, a fossilized resin with a caramelless sheen to it. It's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. Okay. Well, we got some amber. It is very arrowhead like this time. Where'd it go? Over here. Dang it. Little low performance here. Okay. Kind of drop some, uh, drop some stuff there. There's animals here. Uh, they seem peaceful, though. I don't want to attack them. They're really cool looking, though. Nope. How do I take care of that? No! Get rid of pins! Aww. How do I get rid of pins? Alright, oh well. Oh well. Maybe we'll learn later. See if they're friendly or they you know. Well that was just a normal bird, okay. Ah. Ah. 
All right. It seems like they just run. Bulb, a wild plant with bulging roots often found in cooler climates. It contains nutrients that increase endurance. Cook it to restore stamina. Okay, that's good. That's new. All right, we're heading that way. I don't want to miss anything that I could also get. Is that flower collectible or is not. Ancient Arwana, a lively fish that hasn't changed much since ancient times. Its nutritious meat can restore a bit of health. Nice. Didn't even see the fish there. cooking pot. My next batch will be tasty. Pardon me for not noticing you. I was absorbed in preparing my next meal. Hmm, I do not recall having seen you before today. I must doubly apologize for my inattentiveness. It is the duty of a construct to field any questions that, have, that those such as yourself may have. You may pose these questions to any construct. We will answer them to the best we can. Are you interested in my cooking? Cooking? Ah, you seem to be uneducated when it comes to cooking. Well, I, I cooked so much in the last game. Very well, you will learn how to create a meal on your own. Uh, educate me. Cooking. Step one, hold the ingredients in your arms. Step two, throw them into a pot. Over a lit fire. Cooking complete. Man, I didn't know it was that easy. Damn. This is the simple version. The world of cooking can be as complex as you want. There are many possible dishes. What you make and what effect you gain depends on the ingredients used. Some meals are warming, others replenish stamina. Tiny organisms known as critters and monster parts are not food. Save them as the base for elixirs. This information can be provided by our creators, but I cannot eat, so take it with a grain of salt. Food joke. <laughs> I will remain stationed here. Ask me any time if you have further questions about cooking. Oh, we're good, man. Uh, let's cook. Jesse, let's cook. <laughs> Let's hold two of these and throw some apples in there. And this should be tasty, hearty, and fast. <laughs> tasty fruit and mushroom mix. Grant a low level movement speed boost. This dish contrasts with sweetness of fruit with the savoriness of mushroom. So that's speed up for three minutes. That's cool. So. You can check the recipe now. That's so cool. You know exactly everything. Okay, that's game changing. Hell yeah, okay. Uh, let's do more, let's do more. I'm excited. Uh, these are for elixirs. Uh, let's do some fish. Ancient arowana. It can restore health, okay. Um, these mushrooms also restore health, so let's do some fish and four of these. And just see what it is. I know I only have three star, uh, hearts right now, so I need to be mindful of that as we cook more. But this one would replenish four, which isn't too bad. Uh, and then these restore stamina. Let's just do one each. Link has a new uh, hum there. 
All right, it does it a little bit, but that might be just enough. We'll save that for now, because we might add in stuff later, but cool. Our first true cooking. Um, maybe I take out one bird. Hold on a second. Restless Cricket, a very energetic cricket. Cook it with monster parts to create a stamina recovering elixir. Uh, poor guy ran to a tree when he saw me attack. I don't. I feel bad. I don't want to kill him. All right. Uh, we're heading this way. Good. That opens the chest. Valuable ore that gives off mesmerizing iridescence similar to the inside of a seashell. It contains the power of water. Okay. A cork. I need to reach my friend. Buddy, I'm here. I'm your friend. This is awful. Where's my friend? Huh? You can see me? I'm a cork, one of the children of the forest. I was traveling with my friend, but we got separated. My friend is setting up a smoke signal. I can't, uh, I can't wait to catch up. Hmm. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. Okay. Let's hold you there. All right, buddy. We'll get you your friend. No problem. Let's attach this, and attach this uh, here. I think that'll work okay. And then, nope, wrong one, I keep doing that. We'll put you here on this side with a little booster seat that you got going on. Uh, is there anything over here I want before I head over? I don't know if I'll be able to make it back. Huh. 
Man, look how pretty this is. Woo! Sunset Firefly. This firefly glows gently in the dark. When cooked with monster parts, the compound that uh, causes it to glow results in an elixir that will allow you to move more quietly. <sighs> Jazz Major, thank you so much. All right. I think we're probably okay to to move on for now. I mean, that direction is the shrine. That takes us back down there, so we should be okay. Whew, almost missed it. you down here and then I'm gonna go talk to the friend first I'm waiting for my friend my friend is over that way I wonder what happened okay. there's my friend you're here Reunited at last! Thanks! I'll give you something. I'd like to give you something, but here is all I have. Korok Seed times two. We all know that these are little poops, right? If you don't know, if this is the first time you're playing, if you didn't realize, look at the shape. It's poop. I know they say seeds, but I don't believe it. This small seed was given to you by a Korok. It has a distinct smell. If you gather a bunch of them, you never know what may happen. You know what happens? Shit happens. That's what happens. I don't know if any of you collected all 900 of these things in Breath of the Wild, but I did. And all you get is poop. So if I now that I know the Korok seats are back, I don't know how many to get, but if all I get is poop, I don't know if it's worth it. Oh, so cute. I'm happy for you guys. All right. Yeah, a little furnace here. That's cool. Look at the camp. Look at the boys in their camp. All right, there's some fireflies up in here. Let's see if we can get them. There's a restless cricket here, too. I definitely know my wife, who is also playing Tears of the Kingdom right now, is not collecting bugs. Okay, there's parts over here uh, that we can probably use to make that rail over there if we wanted to. Oh, there's water falling off of the over that way. Interesting. Hmm. I didn't notice that last time. All right. Get a charge from you. Better double check and make sure it doesn't. Okay, it only drops one. All right, uh, well, we can recycle and just use this for the next one, too. So that's going to be too far to swim with the type of stamina we have now, so we're going to need to build, build some type of boat.
I'm sorry that I have to waste so much time catching these, but I can't help myself. Two-handed stick, okay. And another stone axe there. Um, all right, let's get rid of some of these just wooden sticks. Pick up this stone axe. And we'll continue with the wooden stick for now, too. Uh, we've collected a lot of these. I don't need to collect a whole lot more. Looks like we have the ingredients for a boat. I need you guys to tell me the name of our future boat. What's her name? This is a two-handed axe. Ooh, choo-choo. Choo-choo jelly, a gelatinous substance that comes from choo-choo. It's unusable in this state, but applying a bit of elemental stimulation will change its forms. Uh, how about the SS Wave Rider? I kind of like that. Let's build the Wave Rider. Anything else over this way before we start building? All right, we're going to collect this jelly. There's a lot of wind, a lot of wind. So that's definitely going to help us out with building the boat. All right, I think we're good to start building. I wanted to pick this up, too. Uh, let's just get rid of this stick. Often found on the ground near trees, squirrels adore nuts, so you may have competition while foraging. Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. We got our boat. What's the name? The SS Wave Rider. Yep, that's what we're going to call it. Let's launch this sucker. Sorry, just enjoying my Wind Waker vibes right now. Alright, well, it definitely works. 
Maybe we should have put it on long ways, but it's going a little slow, but it's working. We can make it. I have already thought of improvements for the next Wave Rider. Alright, that's probably good. Awesome. Really cool. direction do we go? We can go, I mean, we could just go up, I suppose. I have a feeling that Choo Choo Jelly is going to become so much more valuable. from that. I thought it was only going to be one. Yes! I picked right! Bird egg! A fresh bird egg necessary for making dishes, such as omelets and crepes. You can snag them from bird's nests if you're sneaky, notori uh, nutritious, and delicious. Perfect for cooking. Sweet. Make this work. Ah! There, killed it. God. Okay. All right. Rush rooms. And bombable something, but I don't got any bombable anything. In Isa Shrine. In Isa. Oh, there's another bombable thing. Another shrine, and hopefully another ability. Oh, 
So, you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Okay, has a sword icon. Fuse. Attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo the fusion, but that will destroy whatever has been attached. Mm. This is the fuse ability. It allows you to fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield, thereby enhancing it. Why not pick up that sword just ahead and fuse a nearby object to it? Mm. Use fuse and receive the blessing from this shrine. Fuck yeah. <laughs> All right, you can set abilities by holding L. Okay, that was the uh, scroll wheel that we saw. The ability to combine. So I can combine that to an old wooded shield or a stone axe. Let's do this. Let's unequip what we got. Let's pick this up. Because he said fuse something to this rusty claymore, which has a uh, combination of six. A two-handed sword not properly cared for. Although it can be used as a weapon, its durability is very low. Don't expect it to last for more than a few strikes. All right, um, let's get rid of, actually, what if we fused it to this thick stick? <laughs> Holy crap, it's huge! <laughs> Jeesh! Eleven! <laughs> Rusty Claymore Thick Stick. A thick back cut from a large tree. It's not the sturdiest weapon, but it's heavy, and, in, uh, and it does have a bit of power behind it. Okay. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Um, okay, I gotta do more. I gotta do more. What we got? What we got? Uh, Stone Axe. Uh, let's, um, let's drop it. Drop the stone axe. And then we're gonna get another stone axe. And we're going to... Oh, uh, can I... Can I not fuse to it? Uh... Thought I could drop it and do it. Alright. Well... We can definitely do it on these rocks. Let's pick a wooden stick with four and put this boulder onto it. Yep. That's what that is. Boulder hammer. A tree branch with an added grip and excellent balance. Equip it and use it as a weapon. It is so big. But it is a six. Okay. Um, yeah, let's, uh... Interesting. It's because the stone axe is already a fused stone and stick. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. Cool. 
that's a door. Can't climb up that. So this is just a rock. And you can fuse with a rock. So what's the difference between... So here's a stick with a boulder. And here's a stick with a rock. Okay, it's just a much smaller one. Cool. Fire fruit. A fruit that acceler uh, generates heat when struck. Cooked correctly, its heating properties improve blood flow and stimulate muscles to raise attack power in high temperatures. All right, let's get all these. So fire fruit can kind of act as like spicy peppers, but I'm going to guess it can literally create fire arrows too, because we have right here, five arrows and a new bow. Attach materials to arrows. Press and hold up, keep bow drawn and select. Okay. Well, that's cool, but we also couldn't have nothing and just do this. And that way we can save our fire fruit. Got a small key. Oh, that was. Oh, gah! <laughs> Why am I so excited for a small key? <laughs> it's because that's so classic Zelda dungeons. Ah! Oh! That's exciting. That's so exciting. Hell yeah. Cool door. I like the aesthetic. I mean, it's very close to the, uh, the Sheikah Shrines, but different enough, and I actually really like the music in here, too. Ooh, okay. Fight time. Okay, you can fuse weapons too, huh? That's exciting. But, unfortunately, you're standing on a bunch of really old dry leaves. So you're almost already dead. Construct bow. A bow used by a construct captain. Uh, though simply built, it's made of fireproof materials and won't catch fire as wooden bows do. Nice. Rock hammer. Got some, uh, Captain Construct One horn. This wavy double-edged blade-like horn is formidable when it comes to slashing. Attach it to a weapon to increase attack power. Cool. All right, we need to get rid of some of the stuff we're not gonna need here, but. I do not have much inventory space. Mm -mm.
spikes. That's scary. Cool. Okay. Um, let's go this way. Let's get the rest of these. And we can uh, attack our way into here. This is the end. All right. Made some headway. That's the second shrine. Link. I came because there is something I failed to give you. Please take it. Energy Cell, a gift from a Zonai construct designed to be worn on a belt. It can power Zonai devices. What I have given you is an Energy Cell. It is required to make use of the tools known as Zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate its utility because there are no Zonai devices right here. However, I have associates on the other side of that cave system. They can teach you how to use it. I hope that energy cell I provided is useful to you. Alright, thanks buddy. Now how do I blow this up? How do I... It said that I can remove or, like, get rid of few stuff. How do I do that? Maybe I go here. And, for example, I can destroy fuse material. Okay. How about... That one. And now... Yeah, look at that. Quick it! Cut grass! Quick it, quick it! Okay. Well, that works for a pretty rudimentary sword right now, and that sword uh, is a nine. Yeah, cool. 
Okay. There must be a way to explode. What do I have that explodes? Hmm. I don't think I have anything explosive yet. So we'll have to come back maybe. All right, let's go find his friends on the other side of that cave system. Oh, I didn't really think about that, but you guys are right. I could just hit it with something really heavy, like I did inside that shrine, huh? Okay. Well, let's do that. My Zelda brain is like, no, 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 you need a bomb. You need something to explode. You can't just hit it with shit. <laughs> but we'll do that. Cool. Arrows, nice. Um, there was another explodey. Okay, this way. Amber, a fossilized resin. Yep. Cool. We also have some rush rooms here. Where did this end up at? This comes out behind a... Oh! More choo-choo! Alright, so that's how we got over there with the Wave Rider. But we could have went all the way over here and then just walked across. Interesting. Why it's important to explore. Get rid of this. Hope that doesn't hit anybody. <laughs> what does this do? It's so beautiful. Let's go find out what it does.
Okay. I'm already running out of the inventory. Let's get rid of, uh, I don't need all these. any monster parts yet but we could do this do two of these and that's good do two of these Go through this cave system. Pond side cave. Bright bloom seed. A seed that's often found in caves or walls. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I might be allergic to bright bloom. <laughs> when struck, it will take root and bloom. Giving off faint light from a small flower. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Key swing. Sweet. Eyeball. Fuse attack power. Nice. So, 
those seeds create light. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Strike at metallic weapon, generate a spark. The fire starter breaks after one use, but it can create a long lasting flame if you strike, get near firewood. Rock salt. A lot of materials here. Whoa, what, what, what? Is that an enemy? It looks cool. Do you attack? I don't think you attack. Except for bubbles. Alright, well. If you leave me in peace, I'll leave you in peace, buddy. Giant bright bloom seed. I don't want to hit you, but I want to mine this. All right. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Lord of the Mountain from Breath of the Wild a little bit. Doesn't it? Like the, uh, the things coming off of it and like the multiple eyes really reminds me of the Lord of the Mountain. Which makes me not want to kill it. Uh, do the bubbles do damage? Let's go look. Well, they don't do damage. Led me to a chest. That's nice. Archaic tunic. Old fashioned upper body wear. It's got some holes, but the soft cloth feels good to the touch. It's hard to keep it wrinkle free. No, I can't seem to interact with it at all, and I kind of don't want to kill it. All right, let's put on some clothes. Nice. I like the look. Precious uh, contains uh, power of fire and have fetched a high price since ancient times and some more flint. Okay. What's a flint arrow do? There's so many possibilities. <laughs> I can do this with all of this? Man. All right. So that just gives a plus one to my arrow, makes it a stronger arrow. All right.
maybe if we... Let's try this. Let's, uh... Put down... Something steel. If we drop this... And then... We attach flint and strike it on steel. Well, I don't know if that didn't work or if my bow broke. Ah, doesn't work, okay. That's all right. This thing is ridiculous. Did I hear a voice? I feel like I was hearing a voice. I was just wanting to see if it would spark. All right, have, have a good time. Raru, what are you doing? The steward constructs were the first to be built. After that, we crafted others suited for different roles. Culinary constructs, maker constructs, you'll find all sort of them active in this place. Some became so skilled within their specialities that they surpassed us. We began to learn from them instead. You should take time to talk to them. They can teach you many things that you might not know. I've been doing that, okay. All right, where are we going now? Let's talk to the constructs. The rafts are damaged. We are unsure how to proceed. We must reconsider the problem at dawn after resting. The rafts are broken. We are exhausted from trying to fix them. Currently, we are resting from this task. At least the Zonai device is undamaged. Yes, they are special tools that we employ. They are necessities here. I recommend that you learn how to use them. Ask the construct in front of the fan for details. I will return to my rest. Oh, this is the area from Aonuma's gameplay demonstration. Nice, okay. The rafts for crossing to the other side are broken. Transportation is on hold indefinitely. This is ordinary, where we send resources across the river. This is ordinarily. Uh, the only silver lining is that the Zodai devices are undamaged. That's a problem. What are we to do? Alright, so we can use these fans to build our raft and make a speedboat, I understand. But, I've already seen that happen with Mr. Inuma doing it. I want to see what's over this way. Damn it, fish, where did you go? I know you're in here. There. I forgot all about drowning. I drowned in the smallest pool that's ever been drowned in. All right, if anybody's keeping track, that's death one. I didn't even have to go inside to catch it that time. Wasn't even paying attention. <laughs>
That was scary. There's your first death, then, <laughs> if the game over screen only counts there. Let's uh, use range. Am I doing wrong? Am I not close enough? Doesn't feel like it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Maybe because it's in the tree? I don't know. Let me experiment a bit. See if I can understand. I don't know what's giving me a problem with that, but all right. Well, we got this. Amber. Entirely sure what I'm doing wrong. All right, let's see if we can get out of here. Well, I feel stuck. All right. Can you jump? Come on. Okay. There we go. We might be able to just go on a straight up here. We'll see. Yeah, we can. Okay. Well, I don't know if that was intended to get us stuck down there or not, but we're getting close to being back to where we were. Cork? This has got to be a cork. Yatta! know someone like you could see children of the forest. Well, if you see Hetsu, please return this to him. Hetsu wants more poop. Alright.
Run, birds, run! Can't uh, shield surf whenever you have something. Okay, that makes sense. Let's uh. Let me put on a rusty shield. I just I haven't shield surfed in so long. I want to make sure I still know how to do it. But first, the cricket. All right. Yep, still works. I really do need to collect a little bit of meat. We're going to take one of these guys out. Shh. You won't even know. <laughs> Raw meat. Plus one fuse attack power. All right. So we climbed from down there, and we need to make our way that way. So we needed to use the fans. That's what's up. It does bug me that it wasn't symmetrical. <laughs> ah! We may need, we may have need of these parts. There are more materials near the water available for your use. It is very difficult to rest peacefully when things like this happen. All right, sorry, buddy. Let's see it. Oh, we're turning. Why are we turning? What's happened? All right, um... Turn it around. Okay, I understand. Take this off. Take it off. 
Turn this way. Attach. Grab this. Take it off. Turn it around. Attach. This will kind of work. All right, it worked enough. I gotta learn basic mechanics and physics. Oh, are you going this direction? It is very late to be traveling. This mountain path is especially rugged. You must take your environment into account when traveling. I have developed guidelines for traveling this mountain path. Shall I tell them to you? Very well. First is a crucial tool when traveling the mountain path. Oh, I don't know why I said first. Fire is a crucial tool when traveling the mountain path. A fire can be used either to cook or to warm yourself. I recommend, I recommend using flint as a fire starter. Place flint next to a bundle of wood. Then strike it with a metallic or stony weapon. This is my recipe for fire. There are several other methods, but it is best to eternalize the basics first. Would you like to hear about cooking? You can cook anytime and anywhere. All you need is a pot uh, with a lit fire. One method of cooking is simply to throw random ingredients into the pot. Others are more careful. This is the best way to make meals that are warm uh, that can warm you up. Other effects are also possible. Insects and other monster parts are not edible. Do not cook horns or guts with food. Save these parts as materials for elixirs. Elixirs are only also helpful in the mountains. They are an alternate way to warm your body or recover stamina. The first step in all cases is to start a fire. That is all I can tell you. Take care. Well, thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Flint. Flint. Rusty broadsword. We're gonna... There's mushrooms over here. Rushrooms. Oh, you can take them out from here? Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's do some more cooking. Got a lot of restrooms now. <laughs> Five minutes, speed up, cool. This five apples makes five hearts. I only have three hearts max, so... I should theoretically only use three of them. That's okay, though. Old. Fish and... Nah. Won't put anything else in. We can make an elixir, though. If we do, like, one, two, three... Well, you have to combine insects with monster parts, right? To make an elixir. So right now, I could theoretically go one, two, three, four, 
and a key swing. And that will give me something, right? Yeah, sneaky elixir up to... Okay, that's good. That one works. And then this is stamina recovery. Which gives me almost a full... Uh, okay, that's great. Those are great. Okay. Let's see where we're going now. So... Where is our... Oh, well, there's the map. Okay, I haven't pulled this out yet. Damn wind! very satisfying sound when that hits. It's very, like, heavy mushroom hitting ground. I don't know. They just found the perfect sound for that. not working. Bye. Okay. Nice, cool little secret area. And we found a Korok, so that's cool. Alright, let's uh, eat a meal. Get our hearts back up here.
All right, I think we're at a new cave system. This one seems to have rails. Okay, I understand. Play smarter, gotta play better. Let's continue. Don't need to just rush into stuff. That's a little smarter. Alright, um, I don't need this many axes. Let's get rid of something. We'll get rid of this one. I need to remember, you can drop immediately from there. And then let me pick this up. And that can be used to fuse to something later, probably. Let's see what we got. Opal. Contains the power of water. So, if I fire with an opal, it 
It's like a water arrow. And it hurts. Damn. Okay. And I can't pick it back up. I thought I maybe could have like I did the flint arrow, but I didn't, and I've wasted it. All right, well, that's how I remember stuff. You make terrible, terrible mistakes, and try to never have it happen again. All right. Nope, I don't restart. I live with my consequences. not the right way, is it? <laughs> wait! Wait! This cool stuff I'm missing! Ah! Uh, I'm such an idiot. Uh, <laughs> I want this. <laughs> uh, well, we'll make a new one. <laughs> we'll make ourselves a new one. How about that, huh? <laughs> and wherever that one went, we'll catch up. It's dark. Oh, it's dark. Oh, okay. We did it! <laughs> Said row material. What does that mean? Hold. No. I don't... I should have read what throw material meant. Does that last for a while? That's a really cool power. I, li I really like that. Brings a new meeting to light arrows. The cave is especially dark. You will need a light in order to proceed to the mining site area, or ahead. Do you have any bright beam sleeves? Yes, I do. What a relief. You would not otherwise be able to see anything as you proceed. Seeds grow primarily in caves. There was a time once where they grew here as well. This cave has been mostly picked clean of them, that is because it is especially dark. The seeds were often necessary. My associates often uh, forget to bring blight, bright bloom seeds. I am posted here to provide a reminder. Use them to light your way if you are proceeding ahead. Watch your step. Interesting. Wow. That gives off a lot. Okay. Zoite. Zonite. Zon Zonai. Zonite. Zonite. An unusual material that has many purposes. 
ancient ancients extracted energy from it and refined it for the crafting of weapons and armor. Okay. Zonite. Another one of those guys, too. So. this and let's use this Doing all the mining. Cool. Some type of lava flow here. Excuse me? That zonite is already slated for processing. It should, it would pose difficulties for me if you took it for yourself. Zoanite? Oh, are you unfamiliar with it? This is the zoite, zonite, I mentioned. It is a unique material that can be mined far beneath the land below. There are trace deposits of it in this island as well, but they are limited to this cave. Our society flourish by processing this substance into other materials. Processing. Zonite is processed by smelting it in a sur uh, in a furnace. It is th therefore converted into materials. It is thereby converted into materials with useful properties. A few such materials will be ready for your review shortly. Wait one moment. Okay. Thank you for your patience. I will now explain what sort of materials the ore can be processed into. Zonai technology is typically powered by Zonai charges. These occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting Zonai into other useful materials is, in this way is called processing. Crystallize. I need a drink. Thank you for the hydrate, Lewick. All right. Crystallized charges are a solidified form of zoni charges. We mainly use them as raw material in the construction of energy cells. Energy cells, okay. Uh, zoni charges are what power zoni devices and constructs. A charge can be consumed to replenish your energy cell. All right. Oh, I can buy these. Uh, I have 30, should I? I'll take 10. I don't really know what they're for necessarily yet. Okay. Oh! <laughs> 
your behavior is a threat. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. It's okay, you can come out. I was just helping you mine. The cave previously had ample resources. It is gradually yielding less and less. That is why I require support, but my requests have so far gone unanswered. I must therefore continue to mine without resting. Ah, poor guy. This is a minecart station. Excavated resources can be transported from here. Could it be that you've forgotten to bring Zonai capsules? You have forgotten yours, or perhaps you may not even know what I mean. Zonai capsules are a convenient means of carrying portable Zonai devices. It is unfortunate that you seem to have none. I will lend you a few spares. A Zonai device, a fan times three, a Zonai device that produces wind with its internal propeller. It's likely that the Zonai have made smart use of this wind power to transport objects and generate thrusts. <clears throat> the ones I gave you were fan types. You can deploy them at any time. They would generate wind when struck. Okay. Zonai devices are useful and come in many varieties. I always carry several with me for any occasion. Many neglect to keep the healthy supply on hand. I keep watch for such individuals. The spares I gave you were the last ones I carried. Take care not to forget again. Remember that a device cannot be put back in its capsule. Think carefully before deploring one from your pouch. Okay, so I can deploy a fan at any point. Take out device. Okay, no. Decrease. Return to game. Alright. Turn. And we place it on this side. Right there. Work. Hit it. And go. Yay! This is so fun! Here we are, and here's Raru. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, that lasts a lot longer now. Turn off. The time bell that sounds from the Temple of Time rings at a set time each morning and evening. Oh, that's what I've been hearing. Along with the constructs, we woke up to the sound of the bell. When we heard it in the evening, we knew it was time to rest. Hmm. It also played its part in our traditional ceremonies. In a way, it was this place's beating heart. The sight of the temple and the sound of bell, of its bell stir fond memories in me. Cool, man. I'm glad that, that works out for you. All right. Okay, let's find out what's happening here. Device dispenser operation confirmed. On track to meet today's Zonai capsule production target. Oh, do you want to use the device dispenser? I have nearly met my target. You are welcome to use it. Device dispenser. Yes, this is a device dispenser. It produces Zonai capsules by converting certain resources. 
The resources it accepts are things such as construct horns and zonite charges. You can produce, uh, you can process resources that you hold by dropping them into the receptacle. It is similar to using a cooking pot. Okay, uh, no, goodbye. Dis device dispenser. I will continue to uh, my maintenance checks. This dispenser is available for use. Okay. So, you, okay. Um. How many? I, mean, I can only hold five. Is it random? Oh, that's a lot. Holy crap, that was a lot. Fan. Portable pot. A Zonai device for cooking food almost anytime, anywhere. It lasts for cooking one recipe only. Oh. The device is easier uh, to use on flat surfaces. Oh, that's cool. Emergency pot. It sucks you can only use it once, but that's cool. <coughs> Flame emitter. A Zonai device that shoots fire. It's thought to have been originally used as protection from monsters. It shoots fire? And the pot's only good once? Okay, let's um let's do that again, baby. This is like gambling. Man, so many. What do we say we do horns this time? And maybe that'll be it after this. It's a really cool mechanic. It's interesting that it's random like this. All right, not much as much coming there. All right, well, we got some good stuff. We got some fans, we got flame emitter, uh, whatever that does. Um, Take out device. Whoa. And it recharges. That's like, that's crazy sauce, what's going on right here. Okay. Well, I don't have a, uh, a sailcloth, but that'll be useful when I do. Uh-oh. There's a cork over here. Oh, my friend and I got separated. Where are they at? All the way over there? Okay. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. All right, we can send you over there. We just need a mining cart and a fan, it looks like. Surely not. Can't believe it. That's pretty amazing. It's also ridiculous, but it's amazing. There's a minecart on the edge of my sword. There's a minecart in my inventory. I don't know what I expected. The minecart that I can swing only does six damage. Oh, 
no, that one's already open. Never mind. I don't need to do that. Well, uh, I was going to use the minecart to get over there, but now I can't. Oh, there's another one here. Well, there's only one way to start this minecart, and that's with the minecart. <laughs> no! <laughs> Get out! my friend thank you for bringing my fin all right that's six Korok seeds that's cool man there's a lot of stuff here okay let's see what's over this way chests. Nice. I can't believe I have a minecart on the end of this sword. I can't believe it. Well, we gotta go up there, but I can see... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, I can see that... I don't know, that should be okay. If we go fast enough, I suppose. I think it's going to work. I think that thing will slide off and I'll fall. That's not what we do. We need to do... Okay, I have an idea. I think I understand. Yeah, okay. This will work. Let's get this hook over here. Bring that up. We're gonna put this hook inside this minecart. Like so. And then we're gonna pick up this fan. Get that off there. Um, yeah. And we'll just attach it to the back of this thing, like so. Right? I think that'll work. 
And now we'll put the whole thing up here. Um... Okay, I understand. Uh, I need to rebuild it slightly different. Okay. That still needs to get attached. Like... There. This needs to turn this way. Like so. And then the whole thing gets put on this. Like that. And then we turn it on. And there you go. We got a crawling machine. This is so fun. <laughs> Turn it off, and just in case we need the materials again, there they are. That's so cool. I'm gonna have so much fun with this game. love that. It seems like everything you can pick up in this game is useful. Everything. Yep. Portable pot. Nice. Okay. Um, well, I made it up here, but where do we go from here? There's another shrine up there. I guess I can go down. to get there. Okay. I am going to go over here to where we have a little bit of a view. Oh my god, what's that? What's that over there? Oh my god, okay, there's so much. I'm gonna let you guys look at this view right here, and I'm gonna go use the bathroom, because it's been a while since I have. I will be right back. Hell yeah. <clears throat> All right, how is everybody? Y'all doing okay? <sighs> Chat was rioting, okay. <laughs> 
Okay, so... That looks like a thing I saw in a trailer. That's probably a boss battle. Or close to it. I'm gonna go over there. I probably shouldn't, but I so badly want to. Construct. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. Okay. All right, flux construct. I assuming this thing is your weakness. Minecart time. so fun. Okay. Uh, meals. 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 Meals on wheels. Let's, uh... Let's eat this. Get up! Rick! That was fun. Zonite charge, portable pot. Whoa, okay, so we got some charges, a lot of charges. We got an emitter, another charge, another, and then this thing, which I can't pick up. I understand. I get it. I understand. Um, here, let's take off this. Whoa. This thing's wicked. 15? That's so cool. I wonder what it would have happened if I put it on a shield. Dude, this really changes the game. There's so many possibilities. There's so much freedom. I'm so happy. All right, we gotta get up there. Guess we can get back using this too. Yeah. Ugh! Didn't jump. So we can go up there where it looks pretty. Yep, it looks pretty cold up there. Looks like we're getting some spicy peppers. Cool.
I remember this from the, uh, the pit cave, okay? Yeah, I remember this from Alnuma's gameplay too. He used to send on this and got up there, okay. I hope I'm not bothering anybody by spending a very, very long time on the tutorial area. It's just something that I like to do. Man, this is the third one of these I've seen. I still feel like I shouldn't attack them, but just to exhaust possibilities, I'm gonna see what happens when I attack it. Well, it definitely gets shot. You can definitely kill it, or... Bubble gem, a strange crystal left by defeated bubble frogs in caves. Its eerie blue glow may entice you to collect even more. Hmm. I am enticed. Well, I know there's been, I think there's two that I've missed then. So I might need to go back and get those at some point. Maybe that's something I can do off stream. going to guess this is just the... yeah. If I go back around here, that's just the other side. Alright. Well, we'll probably need to talk to this guy. Excuse me? The snowy mountain above us is extremely cold. Unprepared travelers will swiftly lose vitality and may even die. Are you fortified against the cold? Fortified how? Insufficient preparation can lead to death in harsh environments. My advice can avert this. Please listen carefully. The primary safeguards used to uh, our creators were meals that warmed them. These meals were typically prepared using ingredients with warm sounding names, such as ingredients. Any such ingredients will suffice. They also wore thick clothes of warmed and warmed themselves by a fire. These solutions were effective, but less accessible. Be mindful of your ingredients when cooking. My understanding is that only one cooking effect can apply per meal. You must take care not to eat something with a different effect afterward. The chill will set in again sooner than you expect. All right. Well, we can do this. Uh, we can use peppers. Five of them. Cook that. Twelve minutes of cold resistance. That's probably going to be plenty, but... Were there any more peppers out here that I could do another twelve minutes? Not that I see. Um, I might be able to use one of the fire fruits. That's gonna keep me warm, too. Let's see what five fire fruits does. In terms of time. Where are they at? Did I just miss them? Oh, okay, yeah. I don't know why they're kind of hard to, to make out. Let's see what five of these do when you cook them. Uh, 
Uh, hot weather attack. Hot weather attack. Five minutes. Grants a low level attack enhancement in hot places. Huh. Hot weather attack up. That's interesting. All right, well, we probably won't need that for a bit. Let's go ahead and just do four more. Hot weather attack up. All right, 10 minutes of cold resistance. So we got 10 and 12 minutes of cold resistance. So we should be good moving forward. And there's some more here as well. Moving a little slower in the snow. Very bright up here. Gotta go figure out what's up going on with that. Okay, it's a Gorf puzzle. I wonder if it's just grabbing it or if I can also shoot it, maybe? It's so weird to have new Gorf puzzles. It feels almost wrong. The soldier constructs and captain constructs are only doing their duty to protect the Garden of Time. At the time, it was sadly necessary to protect our land from invaders. I am terribly sorry for any threat they pose to you now. It's okay, man. We'll be fine. I got some crazy stuff right now. They went quick. <laughs> they went quick.
been a quark up there. You don't know. Uh, let me out! Will it power back up to ice? Yes, it will. That's effectively an ice arrow then, right? I think so. Man, all these have effects. I should just eat raw material then. emitter club that is so cool how does that work that's really interesting <laughs> whoa okay Wait, I gotta... Does it... Alright, it doesn't do anything when you throw it. Bottomless cave. God, they, they have bomb flowers? <laughs> Does anybody else understand why that's so significant? <laughs> that's, that's from Ocarina of Time. <laughs> it's the crop of the Gorons. <laughs> I can't believe there's bomb flowers. That's so cool. A dangerous flower that contains explosive elements does not mix well with fire or electricity unless the goal is to blow things up. Holy crap. It's a blast from the past right there. It's dumb that that makes me so happy. I know it is, but I, it's, I'm very happy. That mushroom is in such a precarious situation, but it makes me want to get it more. All right. It's like, come on over, try to get it. Like, why wouldn't I try to get it? All right. Bottomless. down there. Man, 
we've only just started, you know? Like, I'm still in the tutorial area. I haven't even gotten to Hyrule yet. This is nuts. I feel so happy. <laughs> Alright, some more amber. What are you? Ugh. Well, it looks like a plant. Is you're not meant to be a like like, are you? Looks like a like like. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well, it makes a lot of sense. We just need to pull these out. Can I hold? Can I drop these? No. I can't throw them. I guess I can put it onto a uh, onto here. How do I throw them? Just put them down, I guess? Like, hold, drop? No, that's not it. Hold. And then what? It is kind of like a like like. Oh. All right, there's an opal that I wasted. Sort. I haven't sorted into my stuff yet. Drop. All right, I'm holding it, and then it's like I'd go to throw a weapon. Wait, oh, select materials to throw. I see now. Okay, I get it. I did not see that. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me. Cool, okay. Got it. Got it. Thank you so much.
Like like stone, it was a like like. Holy crap! A strange round stone from a like like made of crystallized inner fluids. It's a good ingredient for elixirs. Cool. Rusty halberd. Opal. Flame emitter. Oh yeah, ice choo choo's always get me like that. Actually, a lot of ice enemies get me like that. Often. Back up because my reach is so crazy. Icy vertical surface are slick. Got lost in the controls a little bit. <laughs> I gotta get used to it. I've been playing too many other games. Okay. It's gotta be smarter. I also need to cook a little bit.
I was... Oh, he's scared. About eight minutes left. So this is all going to be slick right here. Right? That's what it looks like. I understand, okay. So we'll do uh, this. Still does run low on energy even when it's like that, huh? All right. It needs to be a little more vertical. Oh, hold on. Let me, uh, this. That'll nestle real nice in there, and we can climb this. What a cool mechanic. Okay. I'm going to be out of arrows soon. <laughs> Cooking pot, okay. Let's head over to the shrine.
All right, I wonder if we learn a sin now. So, you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. I think that's a send. Let's you travel through what's directly above you to ascend through it and emerge on top of it. You'll find it quite useful in all sorts of places and situations. Mm. Use ascend and receive the blessing from this shrine. You can go back down if you want. That's interesting. So you can kind of like peek out. Be like, yeah, that looks good. Okay. Sweet. the right choice. Construct boat. Oh, this is so helpful. Thank you, Nintendo. <laughs> that really is awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, no, this does not trigger my, uh, my claustrophobia. I don't really have a lot of claustrophobia. It's, it's really just... I can be in encased spaces. I don't want to be underground. But yeah, no, it doesn't really, it doesn't really do much for my, uh, my dislike of small spots. It's a really cool ability. Light of Blessing. That's three.
I see you've restored some power to that new arm of yours. Mm. The door into the Temple of Time should now open for you. All right, and that's where Zelda should be, right? Actually, no, let's just do the meat. And some salt and a shrimp. Needed some arrows. Oh yeah, I could have used Ascend, but this is also fun. <laughs> why is it? Why not make a ladder out of trees? Um. All right. Probably don't need more of this. Cold resistance. That's good. Mm. 
The Zunai devices were the pinnacle of our technology. We built an advanced civilization with them and flourished for many, many years. Oh. It can, if you can master the use of Zunai devices, your quest will be much easier. Okay, this looks like those stone gliders we've seen before. There's gotta be something up here. We can remember to use the sin now. Cool. My maintenance duties are complete for the day. It has been another cycle with no visitors. Oh, this is a rarity. It is unusual for me to receive visitors here. I assume you would require Zodai device to descend the mountain. Hmm, excuse me. I assume you will require Zodai devices to descend the mountain. Would you like to use the Zodai dispenser? Yep, we'll use it. Maybe we'll get different parts this time. Wing, a Zonai device that can harness lift to ride the wind. To fly farther, farther, try balancing in the center of the wing. Fan, wing, fan, flame, wing, hot, fan, fan. Okay, all right. So we can probably add some fans to that. I suppose I can put it lower. That makes sense. The wing. Got three wings, it looks like, so we should be good then. Um. That's probably okay. And then. That's good. Hmm. I don't know why I feel like that rock right there has a cork under it. I just, I, I can feel it. Feel it in my bones. <laughs> A 
And here I was about ready to climb over the edge, but once again, I gotta remember, I have ascend. Yes. It was a Korok puzzle. Hey, if anybody needs this extra information, I'm not sure I'm not sure if it's the case with this game, but I'm gonna guess. When you see a ring like this and you see that, you know, there's a piece missing, that means that the rock is always in that direction. Follow the direction of the missing piece, you'll find where the rock is. Okay? I took me forever to realize that. Forever to realize it, so. Just letting you guys know. Okay, good. I have no idea how many Korok seeds we need <laughs> for this time. I've already gotten a decent amount. Apple. I get it now. That was gonna slide off. Um, okay, I need to put a fan on here, I think, which I have fans. If I wanna use them. Maybe two. And we'll do one here. And we'll do one over here. sliding. We're really sliding now. Alright, go down. Back up a little bit. To the side. To the side. Oh, we're gonna run out. Oh. Okay, we're just we're just sliding. Okay, alright, we're good. We can do this. Woo! Alright, that was a little further than I wanted to be. I need to get back over there. I can use these pawn fronts to cross over the water. I did notice there was something under the water up there. I wonder if it could have been a Korok thing that if you land in the middle of whatever that was possibly I could have uh, gotten a Korok maybe I don't know but that's okay we're going to the temple of time uh, the second temple of time or maybe the first temple of time we're doing it now should be strong enough now.
Closed door complete. Well, this certainly looks like one of the items that was on the mural. After dropping her with that hand, it must feel better to be able to grasp it like that. gone. She was completely silent. Recall. Reverse an object's movement until it goes back to where it was. You can stop the reverse movement, movement at any time. Recall. I kind of recalled Zelda there. Ah, uh, recall. The ability to reverse movement of an object through time. And Zelda has vanished as well. Hmm. What you just saw, it's a mystery even to me. Perhaps it was sort of, a, of an echo, one that reflects her sheer will. That you've now been given this ability. No doubt it will prove important. In the Temple of Time, you approach an altar, and in a flash of light, you found yourself with Princess Zelda. That is, with some phantasmal floating vision of her. She took your hand and gave you an ability to control time that's known as Recall. Now the temple's deeper mysteries await you. Okay. Like, a temple temple? Are we in a temple? I mean, I know we're in the Temple of Time, but usually the Temple of Time isn't anything too special in terms of, like, a temple. useful. That's going to make some, some really good puzzles later. Alright, here's the statue of Hylia. The 
goddess who reincarnated herself and became the line of Zeldas. Gray. The goddess statue smiles upon you. Okay, I guess I don't have anything to turn in. Hmm. I was expecting a heart container or a stamina vessel. Okay, I understand. So I need to use this somehow. The door stands the test of your own overall vitality. Mm. You remain in a weakened state. You're not yet strong enough to open it. But there is one more shrine on this island. There you can get another blessing. And then I can use the statue. Oh. If you add that to the other blessings you received at shrines and offer them all to the goddess, you might just find your way forward after all. Mm. Let me see the Pura pad. The Pura pad lets you travel to certain places instantly. Now, see all the blue maps on your map? <laughs> now, see all the blue marks on your map? You can travel instantly to any of them. I suggest the one at the bottom of your map. Use the travel function to reach that area quickly. You'll find that the last of the island shrines around there somewhere. Okay. All right, let's do that. Uh, map. All the way at the bottom, travel. Okay. All right, we're back here. I remember being here and thinking, oh, you can probably do Ascend here. Keep doing that. Um... Ah, crap. Ah, oh, man. Okay, I gotta do that one, too. No problem, no problem. Here we are. Secret shrine.
Make sure you guys are sticking around and getting any tickets uh, in that you need to get in. We have about seven minutes until we do the giveaway. Okay, so we'll use rewind in this one. Ah! <laughs> it was too quick. I was too greedy. So cool. That is nuts. Okay. Got it. That's the fourth one. Shooting stars are back, okay. This is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. Energy wells? An energy well can increase the capacity of an energy cell you are carrying. This increased capacity will allow you to use Zunai devices for longer periods. I can produce these energy wells for you if you bring me crystallized charges. Shall I begin production, or would you like me to explain crystallized charges? Uh, get producing. Your production will require at least 100 crystallized charges. Return when you've collected a sufficient amount. One note regarding the zonite required to process crystallized charges. The mines of this island have nearly run dry. I doubt there is enough to produce an energy well. But there is more to be had. Check out the distant depths of the world below. That is its original source. 
The Great Sky Island. Okay. 100 of those things. Okay. It looks like we could possibly just fly right to the end. Uh, to the Temple of Time from here. But while we're up here, let's not miss anything. Let me see what is up on top over here. Once we get to the top here, we're going to see what is uh, to be seen. And it's your last chance to get your tickets in. I'm going to be closing that very soon. Remember, you got to be here. If you're not here, I'll re-roll. There's a Korok on them in this, maybe? We'll see. Yep. On this lily pad. All right. We're going to stand right here where we have a really good view all the way up here on the in the height of Hyrule. And we're going to be doing this giveaway. All right? Now, uh, remember, the giveaway is for a copy of Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom from the Nintendo Switch and a special edition OLED Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch as well. All right? So we're going to be, uh, yeah, we're going to be ending the giveaway here. Um, I should be able to handle it, mods, uh, if you give me a second. Let me see here. All right. Uh, it is 5.01, so this is the cutoff. We are closing the giveaway, and we are going to draw a winner. All right, so good luck to everybody. And we're going to go ahead and... Draw a winner. The giveaway winner is Faturn Fatter Narukami. Fate Narukami has won the giveaway with a 0.42% chance. Fate Narukami, are you here? Fate Narukami. Fate Narukami, you're here! Oh my god! Good stuff! All right, uh, Fate, one of our mods is going to whisper you uh, to get your information, uh, your email address, just so we can uh, get that to you. Congratulations. Thanks, everybody, for being here, but congrats so much. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. I was absolutely not expecting to win that. Yeah. Well, I'm very happy for you, Fate. So, uh, yeah, make sure uh, mods, can somebody uh, whisper them and get the email? Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Man. I'm just so happy today. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Fate, but I'm happy for me, and just think about all the people. There's so many people playing this game today. So many people that took off work or school, or if you're like me and you're literally playing it at work. I got a stretch rede redemption, thank you, True Intel. I definitely needed the stretch. <sighs> All right, uh, there was a DM to you, Fate Narukami. Congratulations. Uh, but yeah, we're going to keep going. Uh, it's 5 o'clock right now, but I'm not done. I need to go to the Temple of Time and see what's through this door. Who knows how long we play tonight? But, you know, 
The first day of a new Legend of Zelda game of this caliber does not happen that much in your lifetime. So we're gonna savor it, and we're gonna keep streaming. gonna set up uh, one of these. Nope, not ascend. Need to use this. Well, first, I suppose we need to use none of these. We need to get a fan out. So to do that, we go to Zonai Devices. We're gonna take out two of these. We're going to drop them like so. And then we'll grab one. Put one there. And we'll put one there. It's kind of out of balance right now, so let's try to fix that. Maybe there's pretty good. And then, if you think about it, we could take out one more. If we really want to get some speed here and attach it like so, and now we have three fans to get us where we're going. All right, you guys ready? Take it off. We're gonna need to turn a bit. And then start going down. We're out of thrusts, so now we're just gliding. We're gonna see if we can land in that water there. Okay, here I go. Dive, oh, control, control, you must learn control. Oh, don't try that at home, kids. Man, that's really fun. Oh, I can't wait to get into all the levels of this game. We've barely, barely scratched the surface and it's been five hours in this, so far. I wonder if I could have gotten to the top of the Temple of Time. I bet you there's something cool there. I understand that I'm probably going to need to get a new heart piece for my vitality to be up high enough, but I really wanted the stamina. But that's okay. That's okay. Pray before the goddess. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their light of blessing. In exchange for four light of blessing, I will grant you power. Heart container. Yes. All right.
Go, and bring peace to the world. All right, let's open effectively the door of time. You got this, Link. This is like a hunter hunter. managed to open the door. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. We're almost beyond saving. Uh -huh. By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Though our time together has been brief, I am so happy that we finally Does he have a third eye right here? You are exactly as Zelda said. Or is it just a thing? Yeah. I've done everything I can for her. Now it is up to you. What has happened? Okay, I gotta find out what happened. Princess Zelda. I don't know what that is down there. I can kind of see the world a little bit better now. The only real frame of reference I have is Death Mountain in that direction. Which means Hebra Mountains is over that way, Rito Village is that way, the the Gerudo Desert's that way. Lower Lund Village is that way. Okay. All right. Um, I, I really... I know a lot of people maybe aren't super psyched that we're, like, in the same Hyrule, but I, I personally am. Like, I know... I don't know. It feels familiar. Very familiar. I'm so excited. time That definitely feels like Zelda's ceiling energy. Can we use it to repair the Master Sword? Probably not enough. We probably gotta do a couple of these. would have happened to put the Minecraft in there, or the, the minecart in there. Oh, okay. Whoa! The 
Master Sword just went through time, didn't it? That's where Zelda is. She's back in time. And it feels like more than seven years, like an Ocarina of Time. in the cloud layer like they did in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I will. Oh, there's a castle. Oh my god. To the kingdom of Hyrule! Let's look at the log. Where is Princess Zelda? Was there anything more she was trying to, to tell you? Alright. Well, goodbye, Great Sky Island. You were a fantastic tutorial level. Maybe just as good as the Great Plateau. But the Great Plateau is also down there. And just like so many things, I'm sure stuff has changed. But we will meet it with courage. That is. All right, where are we? Where are we? Dude, let's make sure we're over water. <laughs> I'll get distracted. Welcome to Hyrule, everybody. Oh, dude, that's so good. <laughs> well, we're back home, everybody. Look at those towers. Is that the Colosseum over there? Wow. There's the Great Plateau. There's the Temple of Time. The Old Man's Grave. Okay. We gotta get our bearings. I know where we are. Though... I say that, but this is very different. There's these giant craters. I'm... I'm so excited just to just to take it all in. Oh, we got an enemy camp up here. Already. 
Well, no time like the present. Our weapons aren't great right now. No, put him down! <laughs> you dick. Rock hammer. An average sword used largely by travelers. The blade has decayed, but it still serves its purpose. We got a moblin fang, a hard, sharp fang obtained from a moblin. Stew it with a critter to make an elixir or attach it to an arrow to increase its attack power. Moblin horn. Look at this horn. A hard horn that resulted from a skull mutation. Attach it to a weapon to increase its attack power or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Corn. <laughs> a coblin horn, a sharp horn with a with multiple barbs, attach it to a weapon, or increases power or elixir. Yep. Some arrows. A coblin fang. Yep. Boko bow. Can I not do the same? Okay, it's, I guess it's only chests that I can do the one thing, but that's fine. Um, Boko Bow's not as good as any of the bows I have right now. All right, that's enemy camp number one. And they have this little platform here. Hyru Herb, yep, got some herbs. And it looks like a Highland Shroom here. I think we're gonna leave the squirrel alone. Let's uh, have a look at the map. To the Kingdom of Hyrule. So we'll go ahead and follow this first one because we don't have anything on our map. They're just chilling over there. We'll let them chill. We're not super equipped right now for a bunch of battles, so there is a shrine there, though. What's this? Is this, uh, the ranch ruins? There's 
certainly looks like ranch ruins. So the ranch never got fixed, huh? That's a shame. I was hoping it was going to be fixed. Alright, we'll keep heading. Oop. some rupees. All right, Jancy, look away. There's a lot of bugs over this way. <laughs> Warm darner. All right, that's res uh, cold resistance elixir that we could put these in. Looks like some fire fruit, too. Interesting. Oh, he's carrying fire fruit. Whoa. Okay, kind of want to fight him now. Yeah, I believe I missed that. That's a cool for an enemy type to be carrying resources. I love it. I was going in a direction, but I already got lost. Um, interesting. So one of these pieces fell from the sky, and one of those golden trees is growing beside it. That's really interesting. So many materials. Uh, all right. Well, next time I do that, I'll try to have a bomb arrow or a bomb flower ready. Or a bomb arrow with a bomb flower. Damn. Ranch ruin. Ah! Ranch ruin cave. What is that? It's so weird looking. How about... Oh, damn. I think I shot the boulder. Let's do that again. Looking to see what all I have. Let's do this red shoe shoe. That gets him down. He's dead. Okay, I don't know who, what it was. Horriblin horn. An elongated hammer shaped horn with a hard flat front. A 
Attach a weapon to increase attack power or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Horriblin. Okay. Well, that's new. Bright cap, a mushroom that grows in caves and contains luminescent enzymes. Cook it into a dish to give a glowing effect to anyone who eats it. A glowing effect? Huh? Okay. Traveler's bow, I need to get rid of the one bow that isn't working out right now, which is this one. And then we'll pick up these. Yeah, glow in the dark is interesting. I know he doesn't die. He just turns back into whatever that is. So much stuff has decayed on in high rule. All right. Um Is a big, big boy. Oh, hey, buddy. Sword. A lot of rusted weapons that we're finding. Okay, I remember this. This is the, uh, This is the old barracks. Ah! Everything's on fire! Help! We'll do that, and then... Pick this up, turn this, 
Soldier's broadsword. We'll combine that with something, too. What do we want to combine that with? I'm having so much fun combining stuff. Uh, let's do a couple of these. Bird. Uh, we still have these. I wonder if you can still find things. Oh no! This always meant you could find something! There's a. Okay, Flint. Usually you can find one at each inch, or each end. It's like a. Usually it was an amber, but that's not the case in this game, it looks like. Blood Moon. Alright, Blood Moon's coming. Let's just make our way towards this shrine over here. I don't know when I'll get a horse, Obi. I haven't seen one yet. It's so ominous behind those islands. The Joey's and Shrine. Probably wait for this blood moon to go through. Oh, what's over here? There's a tent. Ugh, I feel awful. Oh. This is Bonnie. Hey, traveler. I'd stay away from that stuff if you care about your health. Folks are calling it gloom. If you get any on you, you'll start losing your strength like it's sapping your life away. Mm. I touched some gloom while poking around in the depths and... Now look at me. The worst it will uh, the worst of it will recover on its own, little by little, so long as you are on the surface. But while you're in the depths, you don't recover at all. I thought I was gonna die down there. Uh, some investigation leader I turned out to be. This is just pitiful. I'm completely reliant on Duval, so I really want to recover by morning. Duval must be this guy over here. Oh, they got a little airship. Look at this. This is cool. Hyrule Field Chasm. Whoa. Whoa! Hey, buddy, what's the big idea? You can't just walk up behind someone who's standing on the edge of a chasm! For one thing, a nasty accident like that would surely halt the research here. Yep. Chasm investigation is super important right now for the Zonai survey team. If even one researcher has to stop, Joshua, who's hard at work on plans over at Lookout Landing, would cry. Not okay. Chasm investigation. Ooh. You know, the giant holes that showed up after the upheaval. There are lots of them, just like the, this one, all over the world. The upheaval must be when Ganon did that. You can't see the bottom. They're so deep, so filled with mystery. We must continue our research for the sake of our dear Joshua. Who is Joshua? Oh, see that tower over there? That's where you'll find our base of operations and, incidentally, Joshua. 
Oh. Also, oh? do not startle me again. I'm deep in my investigation work at the moment. All right, Duvall. You be you, buddy. You be you. I can feel it. I feel the darkness coming over me. Goodbye, Duvall. Oh no, the Blood Moon. Ah, uh, Duvall, I'm sorry, it was the Blood Moon! Witness the blood moon's rise. When its red glow shines upon the land, the endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. Just as they did in a war long past. That is a big become. Cool new Blood Moon sequence, I liked it. All right, let's go to the shrine. I don't want to go in the hole. It's scary. <laughs> Shape rotation. Geosyn shrine. Shape rotation. I understand. Um, let's see. I need this on this side. Like that. Goes through like this. So there's a shape. Ah! Okay. Okay. Bring this over here. Um, maybe like this. Can't climb it though. This should work. Hey, 
Hasty Elixir. That seems strange that it's not going down more. That was gonna work. <laughs> okay, uh, let's try to think. What do they want us to do? But I don't want to jump in the chasm. I don't know how to get back. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not jumping in it right now. I am going to go... Try to get a horse. wonder if we can get the what do you guys think the blue the brown or the black which one should I go for blue says Tori I was thinking blue if I can get to it Oh, 
That was the wrong button. I didn't hit L, I hit the other button. Alright, we got him. That's a good horse. That's a good horse. I hope Obi's happy. Whoa. Man, all of these had stuff last time. I guess I technically already looted it. <laughs> In the last game. Okay, um... We are heading... We were heading, I think, this direction, but if we can get to that tower, maybe that'll give us some uh, information about the surrounding area. Yeah. Ho, ho. Are these? Equipment? Building materials? Yeah, okay, it's building materials. My horse doesn't listen to me yet. Did anybody see a stable around that I can maybe register? Whoa. Actually, never mind. I'm going to go over and check out the huh. settlement. Dozer and Burwa. Last anyone saw of you, either you or Princess Zelda, was when you went to investigate the gloom. And then the castle rose into the sky, and everyone's been so worried about what happened to you both. Pura has nearly worn herself out trying to figure out where you two went. Look at this place. Pura is working in that large building over there. Please. Report to her right away. She wants to know that you're all right. Dude, look at this little settlement you guys have made. Look out landing. Right in the middle of Hyrule Field. This is awesome. Got some new song, too. Oh, it's you. Your arrival is sure to cause a bit of a stir. Hmm. Oh, but you probably needed something, didn't you? Well, if this is your first visit, go talk to that soldier in the center of our little fort. All right, Lester. Search at the... <gasps> it's him! It's Bucket Man! Let's talk to him first. Oh. Shh! The captain's talking. All right, that's Landy. Ahem! Oh. I am right in the middle of giving out orders. This group's going to join the search for Princess Zelda. So, 
Whatever you need, it's gotta wait until... <laughs> what? Is that really you, Link? You've returned! I've gotta say, it's a relief to see that you're safe. I'm Greylands, head of the Monster Control Crew. But, we can talk more later. You need to report in to Pura immediately. She has to know you're back. Monster Control Crew? Mm. Your interest in our work honors us all, but please go tell Pura you're safe. All right. Oh. Huh. So you're the big deal swordsman that everyone's talking about. Glad to get to meet you. I'll be up for talking about hero stuff anytime that's not on a mission. Oh. Link, my apologies. Your interest in our work honors us, but I'm busy giving orders to this group right now. Please let Pura know you're safe. She's in the building with the te telescope. Well, yeah, old Flaxel uh, and Landi and you, but I don't know who this is, and I got another name. Whoa. Durbos. So, you're Link I've heard of? You really do look tough. Oh. Link. My apologies. Your interest in our work honors us, but I'm busy giving orders to this group. Please go to see Pura. All right, buddy, I'm going, I'm going. I'm just so excited to see everything. Plus, you might have different dialogue later. A new face. Oi. Hey, welcome. It's your first time at my store, right? It's the only place to shop here and look out landing. I know it looks a little thrown together, but I stock a nice selection of go uh, goods. I ran a store back in my hometown, so I hope you'll support the place here. What's your hometown? Oh. I call. Uh, I come from a small fishing town called L Lurlin Village. It's way to the south, on the southeastern corner of Hyrule. Used to be a peaceful place, too. Mm. Then the pirates arrived. There are pirates? I used to run the village's general store. I remember her, she had all the fish. But when those pirates arrived, I had to grab all the goods I could carry and run. I... I don't know how it's going there now. Ah. Uh. I hope I can return someday, but for now, I'll just keep selling as much stuff as I can. Please, let me know if there's anything you'd like. Anything else you need? Buy my stuff! Oh. Uh, do I want to sell anything? I might just oh. leave for now. Ah. Alright, mubs. Who are you? Mm. Jambo, it's so great. It's just so great. Oh. This Highland Armor series has caught your eye too. The design is so cool and it fits like a glove. It's popular with travelers too, which means it, it is a must for adventuring. Yeah, it's a pretty good set, but I don't have a lot of money. I got 17 rupees to my name. <laughs> Apples, arrows, okay. Well, that's cool. When we get more rupees, we can uh, we can buy some stuff. There are pirates at Luralin Village. That's nuts. We got another entrance here. No way. Huh, Mr. Link? No way. It can't be. Please check in with Pura. She keeps an eye on everything here at Lookout Landing. I like the white hair. What tip does he have on his spear? Just a rock? Okay. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, this is... Wow, they fixed this up. This is the shrine in front of the castle that you got a memory at, right? Yeah, it is. That's really cool. I remember this area in Breath of the Wild. Things have really changed. All right, let's talk to uh, you. No. Scorpus. Link, where have you been this whole time? We hoped you'd come back soon, but then you didn't, and, and now you have. Where's Princess Zelda? You didn't bring her with you? Whatever happened, please go talk to Pura first and foremost. 
She's up in her research lab. That's on the north side of our fort. Up on the second floor. Hurry! All right, Scorpus. Man, everybody is in really bad shape. Uh, their weapons, at least. Robbie! <laughs> Look at Robbie! Ah, oh, what a fine afternoon! Hey! Hey, you! Where have you been? Robbie, head of Pura Pad Development. Don't answer that. Tell me later. For now, you should hurry and go talk to Pura. She's been in a tizzy ever since you and the princess disappeared. She's in the building with the telescope, up on the second floor. Go see her. Give her some peace of mind, will ya? Alright, I guess I'll go up and talk to Pura. Everybody wants me to. So a night. Wait a minute! What do you think you're doing? <gasps> Joshua needs that for her chasm research. Don't touch any of it without her permission. I'll get in big trouble if you do. All right. Look at this thing. Pray? I don't know if I want to pray to this. Pose. Pose? Pose? I know what pose are. No one's guarding this door, huh? Pose. Ooh. Purapad manual. Read the Purapad instruction manual about the map. If you scan the surrounding terrain using a sky view tower, you can register the map in your Purapad. Additionally, you can travel instantly to the location of a Skyview Tower, and you've already registered it by selecting it. This handy instant travel to a registered location feature has been dubbed Travel by its clever inventor, Pura. Uh, pictures. Open up the camera and point the Pura pad at your desired target. Do so, and you can save the targeted scenery in, uh, or form in your album as a picture. Additionally, the Pura pad can provide data on Hyrule's ecosystem. The data reflected in a picture will be automatically identified, giving you the thrill of filling out your compendium. Uh, Adventure Log. A record of information gained during your travels and things you shouldn't forget, which can, uh, which can be perused at any time. This information is organized into categories, so you'll have to select a category first. All right. Cool, cool. Um, let's go up this way. That must be the Skyview Tower. But let's go talk to Pura first. Dude, I really like the vibe in this place. This is cool. Where do people sleep, I wonder? Stay. Maybe just in this tower. Let's go up and look, and then we can explore. It's just so cool to see a new location like this. Doc looks busy. Huh. What? Joshua, you're Joshua, huh? Okay. Uh, was Joshua one of the little kids running around in Kakariko Village? Huh, I don't know. That hair. Those eyes. Duh, duh, Doc! Oh. Dr. Para! The swordsman! The swordsman has returned! Oh, Pura's grown up. Again. Okay. Now where have you been? Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? Hey. That looks interesting. Hello, Pura. Phew. One step at a time. What exactly happened? She looks great. Head of Lookout Landing. It was cool getting to know her in uh, Hyrule Warriors more. So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, 
You discover a mysterious mummy. Yep. Which suddenly reanimates. The Demon then, King. Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura Pad from an unusual creature. Mm -hmm. And learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Raru. Raru, yes. The master sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. Then... What? Are you saying you came from up there? This Raru you met, I think that the first king of Hyrule was named. Hmm. Are they one and the same? So much of this doesn't make sense yet. But I'm certain that mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky, the mummy must be connected to it somehow. Ah. And then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you? And she gave you a clear message to find her. If, that's, if that truly was the princess, then that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. Mm -hmm. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link, but I need to meet I need you to meet with the search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the search team is named Hawes. Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you can. Yes. I know that mummy may still be lurking somewhere around there. Which is concerning, to say the least, but we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. Ooh. The highest authority on ancient technology. She has served Princess Zelda's family for much of her life and has worked with the princess to research the Zonai civilization. Most recently, they started an investigation into the outbreak of gloom. She has used herself as a test subject in her experiments. Despite being over a century in age, she reversed her aging to the extreme and actually looked like a child not long ago. Cool. Yeah, I really like the new design. Crisis at Hyrule Castle. Alright, we've met Pura. Let's see what else they have to say. Hmm. If the princess really did tell you to find her, then you'd better do so, and quickly. Captain Hawes has been leading a search below Hyrule Castle. Talk to him to see how you can help out. You must reach the princess quickly if she's there. Ah. I'm counting on you, Link. What? Poor Princess Zelda. All alone beneath the castle with that creepy mummy. I don't even know what I'd do if it was just me down there. Just thinking about it gives me the willies. Swordsman, you gotta rescue Princess Zelda! I do. I must. But first, I must look around. Some type of research uh, area. That's Gerudo Town. That's Satori Mountain, I think. Or maybe, no, okay, no, it's uh, Goron Village. I don't know what that is. Zora's Domain? Okay, that's Zora's Domain. And that is the Rito area. Okay. Nice. So the major cities of all the races in Hyrule. Little night 
light. Oh, we can keep going up. Oh, well, this is where these two sleep. They have a missing Zelda and Link poster, maybe? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Dang it. Uh, we can get rid of these. Oh, they don't even show up on here. Okay. Was that slide down animation in Breath of the Wild? That seems to. Well, before we leave, let's check out this tower and see if we can register the area. Um. <clears throat> I guess I can't do it yet. new to say now that I've seen Pura? Oh. Sorry I didn't greet you properly when you first arrived here, Link. I was just so relieved to see you. My name is Scorpus, and I've been charged with managing Lookout Landing. If you have any questions about the place, any at all, come right to me. I'll answer the best I can. Ah. Now please, allow me to open up the emergency shelter. Emergency shelter? Hey, it's me! Open up! Huh. Okay. Ah. This underground vault used to be an emergency shelter for the royal family. Now we're making constant use of it. Feel free to make yourself at home in our vault. Use any equipment you want. Okay. Whoa! Look at everybody down here. Cool. Uh -huh. All right, this is Monty. Link, welcome, welcome. Call me Monty. You will find me employed as the gatekeeper of this fine establishment. This is the emergency shelter where all are welcome. Please stay as long as you like. Ah. Indeed, this place was originally used by the royal family as a safe haven in times of need. It's quite old, so we've been fixing it up as we go, you see. At this point, we've stockpiled some supplies, and I find it to be downright crazy. Ah. I, Monty, have been tasked with the illustrious duty of watching the entrance of this renowned emergency shelter. My task involved taking orders from my superiors regarding when to open or shut the entranceway. A noble task indeed. Aye. Watch your footing when you use the ladder. If only one could go straight through the ceiling rather than using a tiresome ladder, ha! But I digress. Yeah, I couldn't just go up the ceiling, couldn't I? All right, this must be where everybody comes to uh, to sleep and to rest, and that's really cool. Very defensible. Uh. Napping. Nope, 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 nope. Not going near chasms anymore. Nasty gloom, it's everywhere. Making everyone sick, making me sick. Glad I ate the yellow plant stuff from the gloom specialist. Any more gloom, and I'd be canoeing down old Death River. <laughs> uh. Worked my tail off for Joshua. Kid runs circles around Pura and Robbie. She loves research. Me? I'm sick to death of chasm research. At least I'm stick starting to feel better. But I think I'll lie low and keep lying here. All right, Nappin. You do you, buddy. Oh. Everybody's outfits are really cool. I like the blue. Link, right? 
You really are that Link guy, aren't you? I've heard folks talking about you, and your fat, your face matches one of the the one on the poster. Oh, sorry, you wanted a bed, yeah? Well, you can go ahead and take whatever empty bed you like. Ah. Uh. Nappin's sleep talking is particularly audible here, so you probably want to bet a little further from him. His physical condition has been deteriorating ever since he investigated one of the chasms. That's despite how long he's been back, which has been quite a while. He still hasn't made much of a recovery. Oh. The upheaval created massive openings across the land known as, known as chasms. In fact, there is only one nearby just... There's one nearby beneath Hyrule Castle and another to the south of Lookout Landing. That's probably where I came from. But if you go plumbing those depths, you'll come across plenty of gloom. You touch that stuff and your health will take a turn for the worse. Ah. Anyway, there's a young girl named Joshua who's been heading up investigations into the chasms. Despite her age, she's been leading the charge. Pretty remarkable if you ask me. Nah. So you're Link, huh? Some of the soldiers were just telling me. As a simple man from Luralin, I'm a little starstruck. We don't see a lot of celebrities back home. Oh. Luralin Village. It's a fishing town in East Nekluda, far to the southeast. Used to be a popular resort, thanks to its sandy white beaches and gorgeous views of the sparkling sea. Uh. Then we got attacked by pirates. Now no one's living there, let alone running the shops. But listen to me getting all gloomy. There is an upside. If not for the pirates, my wife and I wouldn't have come here. I should just set my trap and enjoy the charms of Lookout Landing. Mm. Beds! You believe it? In my village, you couldn't find those anywhere but at the inn. All right, buddy. <laughs> um, pirates. We've had pirates in Zelda, in Ocarina of Time, and of course in the Wind Waker. Uh, Tetra's pirate crew and some ghost ships, but huh, pirates and tears of the kingdom. I had no idea. Uh, guys, I'm gonna go use the bathroom one more time and maybe refresh my drink, and I will be right back. So do not go anywhere. Just a couple of minutes.
All right, we are back. Thank you so much for indulging my break. I'm going to have one of these Frappuccinos, get some energy in me, some caffeine in me. Ah, that's good. All right, let's keep playing. Hold on, back, back. Look at all this dust. Oh. Jaren, hey, I know that face. And any face I know is the face of a friend. Please, Link, help yourself to anything in this shelter. It's all yours to use as you see fit. Mm. But don't you dare go making a mess of this place and kicking up dust. I spend so much time cleaning in here, it's like there are endless amounts of dust. Mm. Where does all this dust even come from, anyway? It's skin, Jaren. It's mostly skin. Oh. Today in the Lucky Clover Gazette, mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight. Shrines appear everywhere due to shifts caused by the upheaval. With Pura as their leader, the Zonai survey team begins thorough investigations the world over. Huh. Guess this paper is a little old. <laughs> mm -hmm. Remnants of the Zonai civilization have started popping all over. This calls for the Zonai survey team. Mm. Well, it should call for that, but instead, we've you've got me hanging out here until further notice. I spent loads of hours memorizing everything in the Zonai survey team book over here, over there. Guess the best thing to do now is to stay on top of the news in each region. So it so I'm even more prepared when the call comes. News in each region. Mm -hmm. Freezing temperatures bring feathery shivers to Rito. The Rito are all over the newspaper lately. They live out in the Hebra region, if I recall. It's in the snowfields of northwest Hyrule. Some surveyors grouse about going there because of how cold it is. When all they need to do is bring proper gear and supplies for cold resistance and go to the Rito Inn and sleep on a luxurious fluffy down bed. Mm. Uh, I know it's important to be on standby here, but I wish they'd send me out on a survey already. It's the same Hyrulean script, and yet it's so different from our modern language. I still have a lot to learn. Huh? Hmm? Don't tell me. This is Woolsworth. Uh, based on your stature, physique, and distinctive right arm, you must be Link, am I right? Pura has told me so much about you. I'm Woolsworth. My research speciality is ancient Hyrulean. Hmm. And by ancient Hyrulean, I don't mean the text found in the ring ruins, but something different. It's what we call the language used at the time of Hyrule's founding. Our modern language is built on that foundation. Hmm. These books here are written in that ancient tongue. They look like gibberish to your average Hyrulean. Are you curious about ancient Hyruleans? I don't have anything to show you as things stand now, but I'm sure I'll someday have results posted and ready for all to see at the lab in Kakariko Village. I love how developed everything's become. Looks like we got some cooking over here. Oh, Brumano. Burmano. Hey, are you new here? You may scoff, but I know a fresh, a fresh face when I see one. I can say that because I'm a newcomer too. My name is Bermano, and they put me in charge of cooking for some reason. I wanna say fancy stuff like, for today's menu, we have fruit and mushroom mix that'll rev you up right. Oh. Yeah, I was really looking forward to saying that, but I'm plum out of apples. If I don't have the most important ingredient, say goodbye to rich, full flavor. Mm -hmm. <sighs> My nose is detecting an aroma, a sweet, tangy, Pleasant aroma. Could it be? Do you have an apple? Take this. 
Well, you're really generous. I'm giving you first crack at some grub. Hold on a sec. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling it Bermano's Special Fruit and Mushroom Mix. Looks tasty, doesn't it? All right, buddy. I like to make a big deal out of it, but anyone can make it. All you need is an apple, a mushroom, and a pot. You should try making some. Today's menu, complete. All right, Romano got his apple. Good. Um, there's a book over here. Uh, the Zonai Survey Team, three big ideas. Read the Zonai Survey Team's three big ideas. Surveying shrines. The mysterious ruins that appear due to the upheaval with strange dome-like protrusions are called shrines. They are believed to be from the Zonai civilization, but exact details regarding these shrines are unknown. When observing shrines as well as fallen ruins, take note of their shape, the sky above, and the surrounding environment. Okay. Excuse me. I had to burp. Large holes appeared all over the world after the upheaval. They release gloom and are known as chasm. Mm, I have the hiccups. Ah! They release gloom and are known as chasms. Gloom is physically harmful to people. Direct contact should be avoided. If the effects of gloom are making you feel ill, evacuate from the chasm immediately. Before entering any chasm, be sure to ask permission from Joshua, the leader of the chasm survey. Permission. All right. We of the Zonai survey team were founded and tasked by Princess Zelda to study ruins and ancient documents. Through the lens of architectural, archaeological, archaeological, am I saying that right? Archaeological understanding. It is her hope that we will uncover the deep history of Hyrule. Due to the upheaval, many ruins of the Zonai civilization came crashing down from the sky. We have known very little of the Zonai but we may now have evidence that their culture once flourished in the sky above. Our chief executive is Toro, the first individual in the world to find a clue to deciphering Zonai scripts. Our current surveys are wholly focused on learning about the Zonai civilization. Research results are shared to the specialists at the base in Kakariku, Kakariko Village. All right, the base is at the village, okay. Interesting. So it's good I didn't go in that chasm. Uh, what's the difference between malice and gloom? Is it necessarily the same thing? Or is it slightly different? Oh. Oh, hey. Is that you, Link? I've been nosed down, so I don't know what happened. I don't know what's happening around me half the time. This is pretty involved, so I'm going to keep sitting here while I wrench on this. Ah. Uh. You might have heard, but when the upheaval happened, all the weapons decayed. I've poured so much energy into trying to fix them, but it's been no use. Ah. Yeah, just before the upheaval, gloom began pouring out of the gloom began pouring out of the ground. It clung to the weapons, pulsing as if alive. We watched the weapons rotted as the weapons rotted to pieces right before our eyes. Ah. It was all pretty wild. And I don't understand how it happened. At the time when Hyrule Castle can float. At a time when Hyrule Castle can float, I've given up trying to make sense of most things. Oh. oh yeah. In case nobody has mentioned yet, you're welcome to the weapons over there. Though there probably won't be much use to you since they're you guessed it. Decayed. Dude, that's so evil of Ganondorf. He appears and every weapon is decayed? That sucks. Alright, let's look and see what we don't need. We don't need this stick here. So we'll drop that. We'll drop this halberd. We're going to pick up the Traveler's Sword and this Boko Reaper. 
Cool. I hope, uh... I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the idea of fused weapons, but I really hope that we get the return of, like, culturally designed weapons as well. Alright, let's look at this map over here. I don't know what all the red things are showing, but... How do I... Album... Feature not yet available. Let me look at these. Uh, Zelda, the heir to a power that imprisons darkness. She sacrificed her freedom over 100 years ago to keep Calamity Ganon sealed away and prevent him from further destroying Hyrule. After Link helped free her from the long duty, she committed herself to rebuilding and restoring Hyrule, but has now gone missing. Uh, Robbie, an engineer whose eccentric style adds a lot to his reputation as a wild genius. He once helped Link from his research facility at the Akala Ancient lab, uh, Tech Lab. Since then, he's moved to the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab to help Pura develop the Pura Pad. Robbie thinks he did much of the work on the device, so he's a bit grumbly that it's not named after him. And then Raru. Raru, the first king of Hyrule? Someone who shares a name with the first king of Hyrule. He claims the strange arm Lynx finds himself with was once his. Before his disappeared, before he disappeared, leaving more questions than answers, he also said that he learned of Link's existence from Princess Zelda. Cool. All right, let's talk to Atmos. Hmm? Oh, it's you, Link. Pardon me for being lost in my work here. This map tends to get all my attention. Are you interested in the different peoples of Hyrule and where they live? That's my entire field of study. When I'm out on a deployment with the monster control crew, I spend hours poring over our maps. As such, I'm the most knowledgeable and lookout landing about Hyrule's various peoples and their towns and villages. Oh. Aside from us Hylians, there are four other peoples here in Hyrule. The Rito, the Gorons, the Zora, and the Gerido. Each live in a different area and have their own unique traits, whether it's soaring the sky or feasting on rocks. Hmm. We Highlands also live in villages that reflect our unique cultures. The Sheikah are renowned for their wisdom. In fact, our most prolific researchers are among them. The leader of Lookout Landing, Pura, is from the Sheikah tribe. Oh. Hyrule has eight major places and its various people that its various peoples call home. Oh, a little cutscene, okay. Lookout Landing is located here in central Hyrule. Up northwest, there's Rito Village in Hebra. Then there's Gerudo Town, that's located to the southwest in the Gerudo region. You'll find Goron City in the northeast in Elden. Travel a bit further east, and you'll come across Terrytown in Akala. Ah, oh, I want to visit Terrytown! Not too far from there is Zora's Domain. That's within the uh, Lanero region. Lanero. Am I saying that right? La Nehru. Lanero region. Hmm. Continuing to the southeast, uh, Hyrule. You'll come across a cluster of highland villages. These are within an area called Nekluda. Within that cluster, you'll find Kakariko, Kakariko Village, where the Sheikah live. I hear the village leader is quite lovely. Impa? If you're seeking a tranquil spot, Hateno Village is worth a visit. I also hear it's become Hyrule's fat, uh, center of fashion. Finally, there's Lurland Village. It's a wonderful getaway destination. Except for pirates. Many of the aforementioned towns and villages have been deeply affected by the upheaval. If removing even a fraction of the monsters helps soothe the peoples of Hyrule, that's what we'll do. Our monster control crew is on patrol each day, gathering information from everyone, everywhere. 
Oh. I work on the monster control crew. We're tasked with protecting everyone from monsters. There's been an uptick in their population since the upheaval. But I'm not really the most skilled in combat, so instead, I use my knowledge of the area to help determine where we should make deployments. This oh. is so cool. There's been an increase in the number of unfamiliar monsters since the upheaval as well. Be careful out there. All right, I don't have any uh, more things of light, so I might as well sleep. And we'll go ahead and sleep until morning. Got that three quarters of a heart. Oh. What's the latest? Mm. What is the latest? Ah. I don't think there's anything that we need help with currently. I'm sure that's because you're here now, Link. Whoa. So thank you for checking in with us here at the fort. I know you're busy. I'll be here at my post, awaiting Princess Zelda in the meantime. So if you need anything, you know where to find me. Oh. Pura turned Lookout Landing into the central base for coordinating efforts to find Princess Zelda. Originally, she established this fort to study the gloom that started seeping from Hyrule Castle. Only researchers and members of the Zonai survey team worked here. But once the princess went missing, everyone wanted to help, so they've been coming in ever since. We're like one big growing family. Ooh. Lookout Landing was built on top of the royal family's emergency shelter. We don't have much equipment in there, but we do have essentials like beds and a cooking pot. Feel free to use those. If you need armor or cooking ingredients in your travels, You'll find all of that in Bub's shop up there. Uh, I need some rupees before I can do that. Uh, now that I've met Pura, I'm going to go talk to this guy. Graylin. Graylins. I'm glad you returned safely, but I am gravely concerned about the princess. I'm holding out hope that the monster control crew can bring back good news. They're searching the castle for her now. Oh. Pura has given us orders to search thoroughly around Haro Castle. That's where the last contact with Princess Zelda... That's where we last had contact with Princess Zelda, so it seems the best starting point in the search. Anyway, Pura enlisted our monster control crew to help out, so that's where our efforts are continue currently focused. Oh. It's a group of volunteers who joined together to defend the people from the onslaught of monsters. Hell yeah! Ah, I love it. However... Pura has asked our, our aid with a more pressing matter now. She's searching the castle. Uh, I was just debating whether or not to add reinforcements. But if you're joining the search link, I can keep our forces on standby. If you head to the castle, you'll run into Hawes and the advance party, who will probably be just as surprised to see you. Dude, let's talk to Landy. Landy's oh. awesome. Shh. Wait. Oh. Sorry, Master Swordsman. Mm. I'm glad you returned safely, and I'm gravely concerned about the princess. I'm holding out hope that the monster control crew brings back good news. They're searching the castle now. Uh. All right. I suppose we need to head towards the uh. castle, but there's still a couple people we haven't spoken to, so let's see if we can do that. How should I build it? Oh. Carson. Son. Sorry. I'm a bit busy with work right now. Link? Wow, what a relief. I was seriously worried about you. Where have you been, anyway? Sorry for the excitement. I'm just happy you're back. I've been sorting out whether or not I can build a mini stable and look out landing. Lester has come here to care for the horses, so 
and help him out a lot if he had a proper stable. The project would likely take me a while to complete, but once it's done, you'll be able to take full advantage, Link. All right, okay, Carson, I knew you were construction because your last three letters of your name is son. That makes sense. Ah! Oh, God! <laughs> All right. I guess it's lucky that I can just easily climb the wall. Some horses. I like that brown horse over there. God, I love the feeling of a new Zelda game so much. There's so much to explore. Oh, look at that over there. All right, cool. No issues to report. This is Flessy. Huh? Link? You're back. I thought things felt different around here. <laughs> I knew you escaped the castle. You are a Princess Zelda swordsman after all. By the way, where's the princess? I can't wait to welcome her back. Uh, uh. I dropped her. I see. So she's still missing. Flessy is very disappointed in me. This is Aja. Hi. Sorry, but I'm busy at the moment. So I'll have to talk to you between swings. You never know when monsters will pop up. So I take my training very seriously. Ah. Kind of looks like Syndrome from Incredibles. You might have noticed, but each sword handles differently. So it's wise to try different types to get used to the feel. If you know their handling and practice plenty, the fact that they're decayed won't matter so much. Uh, let me improve this one. What do I got to fuse? What would it be like if I put amber on a sword? Whoa, cool! It's a big shard. Alright, that's probably enough uh, looking around at Lookout Landing here for now. So let's head. Actually, I need to properly speak with Robbie. Hey, you! You any idea how worried we've been? So that's the arm, huh? I overheard Pura talking about it. Hmm, I see. Yeah, it's pretty weird, all right. Uh, nope. Now's not the time for distractions. That's gotta wait until later. Anyway, I hear you got yourself the Pura Pad now. You know, that Pura Pad of yours can get a lot more powerful. I know it's real potential. I've got big plans for that device, but first I need to help Jasha with her investigations into the depths. But then, and yes then, I will head back to the lab in Hateno Village to resume my research. So, once I'm able to finish up here, you should join me there. I'm assuming you're Jasha? Hmm. No, this is Anson. So, these balloon things that fell from the sky are called Zonai devices. Oh no, Joshua is the other person up there, right? Uh, these balloons are Zonai devices? Okay. There's still so much we don't know about them. But trust my boss, Pura, to make things we know, to make a thing we know so little about and turn it into something useful. She's the sharpest person in Hyrule, a creative genius. 
Hmm. So, these are Zodai pieces. Oh, I can't do anything with them. Okay. Thank you, Prophet. I've been having a fantastic time. Yeah, so this is Joshua. Joshua is the one that's what? doing that. Poor Princess Zelda. All alone beneath the castle with that creepy mummy. All right, I talked to her. All right, let's go and uh, meet up with... Uh... Oh, what's his name? Let me look at the adventure log. Crisis at Hyrule. Crisis at Hyrule Castle. Did I untrack it? There, now it's tracked, okay. All right, well, it was really, really refreshing to see a brand new settlement. Uh, it's the type of thing that I absolutely wanted and hope to see more of in this game. Where are you guys? Even Pura stumped. Uh -huh. mm. It's hard to believe these ruins just fell from the sky. I mean, they're from the Age of Legends, and now they're here? It's all so strange, huh? Oh. Yeah, it sure is, but it's also a great opportunity. All of us on the Zonai survey team should count ourselves lucky. If it weren't for the upheaval, this never would have happened. Not that anyone knows what the upheaval even is. Well, Burr is investigating the upheaval. She's certain to provide clues about Princess Zelda. But progress isn't great, I've heard. Uh, is the princess all right, wherever she is? These ruins right here are exceptional. But really, who cares about that at a time like this? Let's check out these ruins. Oh, wow, look. There's a construct here. This is a crystal refinery. Oh, okay. I only still have 10. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Thank you, uh, G Mania Gaming. Well, some work has definitely been done since the last time I was here. All the malice is gone, and they have some, uh, a bit of a settlement here. Look at this. There's foundations built. This is so cool. Man, I hope we get to build this up in this game. so weird to be here without all the pools of malice. Man, he's going far. Central Square. All right, he's down. I got the meat. Let's go see what's wrong with this guy over here. Huh. They're doing some building. Addison. Uh. Addison.
Harrison! Oh, darn it all! President Hudson, are you okay? Where's Hudson? Oh no. What have I done? All right. I'm sorry, President Hudson. I won't let you fall over <gasps> again. That was unforgivable! It's all your fault starting me like that! Yeah, I know it's just a sign, but I have great respect for President Hudson. So, I pin the blame on you. Unforgivable. You haven't heard about Mr. Hudson? He's the president of our construction company. He's the one appointed by the princess herself. She placed him in charge of putting those material caches everywhere. And now he's shouldering Hyrule's restoration. Of course, he is also the founder of Hudson Construction. And besides all that... Uh. Hey, I'm right in the middle of President Hudson's epic tale of heroism. Well, fine. What was I doing here? I don't even want others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this around. But President Hudson gave me an extra special mission. And that's to put all of these signs all over the place to let everyone know that Hudson Construction is a big deal. These aren't your ordinary signs, as you can clearly see. Ah! They portray Mr. Hudson himself in detail. Noble, glorious detail. It's unforgivable for even one of these to fall over. And so, <laughs> I've pledged to support him. Don't worry, Mr. Hudson. I'm here for you. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Try letting go. Mm -hmm. What? Are you going to support him? All right. I'll let go. Uh, Whoa! Unforgivable! <gasps> President Hudson, I'll support you. All right. Um, let's see what we can do for this guy. Well, that didn't attach like I wanted it to. Does that work? What is it? I need to stay focused. Try letting go. Nope, it's not strong enough. Alright, we gotta build something that's gonna really take care of it. So, let's do it. I didn't know how simple it was gonna be. Okay. Alright, uh, let's move this out of the way for now. It looks like we can use these to create a support that's gonna keep that up, right? It should. I wonder if that's enough or if I should make something better. Let me see. It worked! He's standing! How's the president standing? That was brilliant! I never would have thought of it. Oh, right. Let's get him secured while he's still standing. Just put this right here, get that fastened, and... <laughs> Good work, buddy. <laughs> Perfect. Look at that construction! <laughs> With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. I love that he has Hudson's hair as well. Take this with my thanks. Alright, cool. Also, 
You must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. All right, man, cool. Ah, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something from my premium collection. A special gift from me to you. Sleepover ticket, a lodging voucher for a regular stable bed. A reward for collecting pony points. Spend at a stable to get some rest and recover the fatigue of travel. Whoa. Now I can go on to other places and put on more signs. And with that, I'm off. All right, that was cool, fun. I liked it. Let's move this stuff out of the way. This place is getting cleaned up slowly and we don't want to be part of that uh, mess. So we'll put that back for now. I wonder if I have the ability to like start building buildings or something, I'm not really sure, but really, really cool. Let's see what's going on over these with these tents over here. Seems pretty empty. But we got some weapons here. Uh, Traveler's Spear. Let's see, what did we not want? We'll probably get rid of this. Drop. And let's go ahead and get rid of this. Drop. We'll pick up these. And we'll find... Ah, oh, it's a lizard. It's gone. Okay. We'll find something to put these on these things. Let's, uh... Let's do the horn. And we'll put that on the spear. <laughs> that looks cool. That gives us a level 7 spear. And the claymore. What do we want to put the claymore on? Be it. What does the tooth do? <laughs> it's just a tooth at the end of this claymore. All right. <laughs> Where to begin? This is Miley. What? You scared me. What are you doing in a place like this? The Hyrule Castle Chasm is nearby. It's dangerous, you know. Mm. For, I, for all I know, this shrine could be dangerous too. I'd say most things are dangerous these days. What with the, uphe what with the upheaval? Watch your back. Uh? More like chasms, you know, the creepy opening in the ground. Ever since the upheaval, they're all over. In this area, they're beneath Hyrule Castle and to the south of Lookout Landing. I heard that members from the research team went rooting around in some and ended up in a bad way. It's best to steer clear. I'm glad I'm researching shrines and not the chasms. Let's talk about shrines. Huh? You mean like the one right here? When the shrines appeared, it caused such a commotion that they, land they landed in the newspaper. Mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight was smack on the front page, you know? Mm. So far, we know that they're from the Age of Legends. But, did they fall from the sky or emerge from the ground? And just what are they anyway? Oh. Aside from the shrines, we've also got the chasms, of course. To tell you the truth, we don't know squat about all the things that sprung up due, the, due to the upheaval. But the shrines and chasms, they could be dangerous, which would be scary, so we need to investigate them. Poncho. <laughs> the people from the search party are putting in long hours at Hyrule Castle, so I intend to do the same. All right, let's go ahead and do the shrine.
combat training. Is this like a test of courage or a test of strength? It's got a bow and, and it's got a sword. This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You may have entered here. Heed my instruction. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Okay, I can side hop. Glory rush! <laughs> Do a backflip to avoid enemy strikes and create an opening to strike back. Oh, that'll wait a little bit longer. There we go. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back an opening you create. Alright, we need to use something that's going to allow me to use a shield. There we go. Build up your power and release it to unleash a charged attack. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. Alright. Your mastery of these techniques has earned you access. Proceed with it. Alright, we'll pick this up. Um, let's see. Uh, I'll keep the Traveler's Bow. We'll get rid of the current one that I'm... that I have. Pick this one up. In terms of weapons like this, uh, I might get rid of the flame. No, I'll keep it for now. I don't need to pick up everything I find. We're good. There's always more weapons. Such as this, Zoanite Sword, a sword made of Zoanite. It resonates with attached Zoanite devices to slightly increase its attack power. Attach Zoanite devices, okay. Let's get rid of this so that we can get this. So I'll be able to put attachments onto this. Wow, look at the blade. That's cool. Light of Blessing. Anything to say now that I've done the shrine? Huh? Whoa, was that opening there before? How could I have missed it? Mm -hmm. Huh? Um, what is it? We're close to the chasm here, so it's dangerous, you know? Okay. Nothing new. <laughs> Other than the, the doorway thing, so that was cool. Uh, there's somebody over there. Let's see if there's anything else this direction we want to get. Note on the table. Pura has sent urgent orders from Lookout Landing for all of us on the Monster Control crew. 
As Hyrule Castle continues to float, she's tasked us with searching the area beneath it for Princess Zelda and her protector. Be aware that the gloom has spread even more in this area. Prepare yourself before you depart, Captain Haas. Okay. Traveler's shield. Can't carry more shields. Alright, let's get rid of... Uh, I mean... We'll get rid of this one for now. Give us that. And then there's the Traveler's sword, but we got plenty of weapons right now. over this direction that I need to look at. Seems kind of empty. Uh, there's progress being made, but the upheaval really put a lot of it in its place. Alright. Let's get to the castle. I got a stretch. Thank you, Jonathan. I love playing in the game. <sighs> and a hydrate. I got some water. <sighs> Refreshing. All right, let's continue on to the castle. This guy here. Oh. Olaf. Link, is that really you? When did you get out from the castle? I'm so ashamed. I've been on watch duty here this whole time, and I didn't see you at all. Mm. I've really got to get serious about my training. Captain Haas doesn't know that you're back, does he, Link? You should report to him right away. He's on the gate tower at the top of the hill, past the lower gates. Hmm. I'm sure the captain will be just as surprised to see you as I was. All right, let's go find Haas. A little bit of gloom here, which is to be expected, considering we're pretty close to this giant chasm. Huh? Who's there? Raseno. Hey, this area is off limits while we conduct our search for Princess Zelda and Link. You can't just come wandering in here like that. Link? It's you? I'm sorry, I had no idea that you had returned. Wait, if you're back, does that mean we don't need the search party anymore? Huh, you should go talk to Captain Haas. He's leading great search efforts here from the first gatehouse up ahead. You'll find it at the very end of this road. Okay. What is that over there? Oh, it's a bird. Okay, never mind. All right, we got to get to the first gatehouse. I have such fond, intimate memories of storming this castle. All the secret passageways and the different ways to go.
We're gonna look around a little bit. You know we had to look around a little bit. Traveler's bow. Um... Yeah, we can get rid of, uh... And I won. I mean, they're worth the same, but it's cool to have variety. Pretty high up now. There's the Twin Peaks. I'm not sure what's that over there. Uh, Kakariko Village is that way. There's a stable over there. There's the Akala. Uh, Citadel and Death Mountain. I keep doing that accidentally. Map. Alright, they're not showing up on here anyway, that's fine. Alright, uh. We were heading towards the first gate. if I want to go in here, but there could be something cool. The Soldier's Claymore. It starts with a base power of 8. That's pretty good. Let's drop... Let's just go ahead and drop this. Pick this up. Now we got a Soldier's Claymore we can fuse things with. I'm not really too worried about resource management. see where shrines are at night. Oh, those are those big glyphs. Okay. Oz has to be here at the gatehouse, right? Or at least close. Oh. This is Utahs. We've turned up nothing in here that would help us find the princess, unfortunately. None. you're the spitting image of Link. I bet if Captain Hans saw you, he'd be so startled he might even fall off the gatehouse over there. Another traveler's shield, which the shield is, yeah, it's a lot better. Let's uh, drop this, get the traveler's shield. Let's see what's up here. Nothing here, OK. 
Okay. Busy, I guess. Oh, Wingo! Wingo has a pot on his head. Did you come up here to help look for Princess Zelda too? Yeah, me and a few others had the same idea. We all owe a great deal to the princess. We were hoping to help anyway. Mm. But the captain is way up on top of the gatehouse there. It doesn't look like he's coming down anytime soon. We just showed up without being asked. So, uh, best to stay out of the way until we can help somehow. Be careful, I don't want to startle you, I don't want you to fall. Ooh, woo! Standing on the edge and staring in is intense. Seeing a chasm in person is far better than hearing about it. Whoa! Why would you do that? Just up and startle someone at the edge of the void? This chasm is nearly bottomless, just like all the others created by the upheaval. Personally, I do not want the hit to hit the bottom of a nearly bottomless chasm. Even though it scares me, I can't stop staring into it. Yeah, that is deep. Hyrule Restoration Materials. Use this materials cache for all your building needs. Come find us if you like a dream home, Hudson Construction. <laughs> all right, the first gatehouse. We have a little bit of a settlement here. There's a torch. Just like I thought, the weapons have all decayed too. I wonder if there's any attack weapons left anywhere in the world. Ooh. Hey, it's a new face. Uh. During the upheaval, all the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, suddenly decayed. I've explored many regions in search of weapons that might still be intact. I found none. At this point, I'd be surprised if there were any Attacked weapons left in high room. Oh. They're also a real pain to repair, so the best thing to do is strengthen them. This is a royal oh, soldier spear. Base of four. We can keep this here. That's fine. Alright, we were uh, heading up here. <laughs> I suppose the quickest thing I could do is use my new ability. Keep doing that. Aww. Oh, this is Swatu. I finish up the search around here, and I'm ready for my next instructions. I really like their outfit. But Captain Haas is, uh, kind of on edge. I don't want to bother him. Where is... Oh, over here. I'm gonna guess the guy with the, uh, the soldier's helm. We'll talk to Haas first. <sighs> Sorry. But I'm in the middle of something. Huh? Mm -hmm. Link? Is that you? You're alive and all in one piece. It looks like... Well, he's not right. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief! Mm -hmm. Hang on. You're alone, but you heard the princess calling out to you. 
And you're here to help with the search. I see. Well, maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. Oh. I am relieved to see you came up here and uh, you came, you come up here and help us through. We needed some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've been a bit dead in the water. Oh. Captain! It's Princess Zelda! Oh my god, it is! Hmm? Princess Zelda? She's safe! Hmm? Wait, what? Hmm? You saw that too, Link. You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off, right? How strange. This, this is an emergency situation. Hmm. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw. But it will take a bit. Please, you must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. Everyone, let's withdraw. Hmm. That was most certainly Princess Zelda. We must inform Pura about this as soon as possible. Oh. Link, I apologize for the burden, but can you be the messenger and let her know? There's a lot of us up here, and it'll take some time to withdraw. Thank you for the help. Oh. Princess Zelda dissipating into light. I don't understand. Well, you have good eyes, though. She was far. All right, we'll go back and talk to Pura. I mean, unless I wanna maybe do a tiny bit of exploring up here. Gotta be a cork here. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, that's not 
fair. Oh, man. Why did that happen? I tried to, like, maybe try to do recall real quick or something, but... That didn't work. I still do not have a, uh... Glider. It's interesting. Well, now I have to go back. I'm getting that arrow back. Making my first car. Because I want to. 
I don't have a way of steering it right now. But that doesn't mean I don't want to not do it. Don't go anywhere. No. Stop it. Put it right here and then doesn't do any type of control, does it? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, I'm going to be streaming twice a week. I'm going to be streaming... Uh, after today, I'll be streaming on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then Saturdays at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tuesdays will probably be like three to four hours. Saturdays we're gonna be a little longer. So, all right, let's uh put a wind machine on the back of this one, and then just see what happens. steer at all. I can't steer. I can't steer. Whee! Alright. Well, that was fun. Once I figure out a way to steer, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, let's go back to Pura. It's kind of slick because of the rain, but this probably will destroy the shield if I continue doing it. But why not? It's fun. Link? No, it can't be him. I can't allow anyone past here. This area is restricted only to those involved in the search of Princess Zelda. By the direct order of Captain Hawes, if you insist on passing, you need permission from the captain. He should be at the first gate gatehouse up at the end of this road. Ooh. Huh, you gotta be kidding me. Princess Zelda flew off, did she? <laughs> You're a funny one. 
But no matter how funny you think you are, you're not getting through. Nope, won't let me through. Alright, thank you, Plo. Not permitted. Okay. Ooh. It's kind of crazy how much not having the paraglider kind of forces you to explore the geography in a very different way than you usually would. I kind of like it. But I would like a paraglider sometime soon. <laughs> I had no idea you'd come back, Link. Does that mean we can call the search off? Well, please talk to Captain Haas. I already talked to Captain Haas. <gasps> we'll ask the captain for the details. You better hurry and see Pura, Link. Every time. I do that every time. <laughs> I suppose we could also... We don't have a fast travel spot there, but we can travel here. It's not that far, but it's kind of closer. Maybe not worth the loading time. Feel like I saved zero time right there. Farming hoe. Link, well, did you find anything? Uh, Zelda showed up and then she flew off in the sky. You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle and she transformed into light and flew off. I've got to say, your stories are always so wild. But if you're telling me that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. Hmm. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, Maybe we should direct our efforts and dig into the upheaval. For now, at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues about where she flew off to as we look around. <gasps> oh yeah, you've still got the Pura pad, right? Can I see it for a sec? Hmm? It's a little worse for wear, but it seems to be functioning fine. Map, 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 aha! Mm -hmm. All right, I forgot that before we can look at your overall map of Hyrule, we need to add map data from right around Lookout Landing. And for that, we need our Skyview Tower. Joshua, what's the status of the Skyview Tower right now? Mm -hmm. oh, let me see. 
outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. I really like the architecture. Uh. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. Hmm. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Uh. Sorry about this, Lucky. I'll fix it up quick, so just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just the spot for you. It has free beds and a kitchen, so it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info, mm -hmm. talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center, right where the emergency shelter entrance is. If you need clothing for your travels, ah. you should go to Mub Shop. I'll be over by the Skyview Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Yeah. All right, Joshua, let's work on the final preparations for the tower. I'll handle the travel point. Check it. Joshua, you're in charge of the switch. Okay, Doc. You can count on me. The switch. Let's look at the top of this uh, research station first. Though. Ah, there's Joshua. Oh, what are you doing up here? This is the switch. It's for turning the power on. Doc's waiting for you. She's right over there. She said she had some work to do on the travel point. So, you'll find her by the terminal inside the Skyview Tower. And I think she's just about done working on it. She fixed it super fast, huh? She's so brilliant. She's the most amazing researcher in all of Hyrule. very slowly not as great as my tel uh, telescope I got but I was thinking it was more for the sky let's work our way up can we see anything I don't think so What am I thinking? I need to go higher. Could be a Korok up here. See one. No cork. All right, I still don't have a lot of money. I don't know if I'm going to find a lot of money here. So let's go ahead and go to her, uh, uh, actually, I don't think I've spoken to this person at this gate. And also, there's some weapons here. You interested in a sword? There we have a soldier's broadsword, a knight's broadsword, and a royal broadsword. They're a bit worn, but they've got life left in them. Feel free to take them. Each sword handles differently, so it's wise to try different types. Ah. The royal broadsword was used by knights to guard members of the royal family. Its counterattack power when dodging an enemy is potent. But my own sword play isn't there yet, so I can't make the most of that sword at this point. Ah. I was going to give it to you, but it looks like you don't have room for any more weapons. Well, if you want it, you know where to find it after you've created some space, that is. Uh, yeah... 
Let's drop... Actually, can I use this as a base? Oh. Oh. Ah. Hmm. All right, let's just drop this. Soldiers, what castle soldiers use. It's light and nimble. Leads me to believe you could at least charge attacks really quickly with it. Oh. Hmm. Oh. All right, we've got the broadsword. <laughs> Royal oh. broadsword. Oh. Hmm. Uh, I've had some long streams before, I feel like. I, some of my God of War streams are pretty long. All right, that has a base of 10. And then I also need to get rid of something else, too. Let's get rid of, uh... Let's get rid of this Boko Reaper. No, not you. What do you have to say about this one? Ah. Used by knights to defend the castle. Once, a monster attacked me while I was wielding the broadsword, and I thought, this was the end for me, but I timed my swings carefully, and it unleashed an incredible blow. Maybe it was my adrenaline, but no, it had to be the sword. It really surprised oh. me. I've got another one, so it's yours if you want it. Just give me a moment. Hmm. Apologies, I was being selfish. Not even knowing up from practice. Not even looking up from practice to see that it's you. Ah. It's such an honor to meet you, sir. Well, now I've met you, I'm even more motivated to become a master swordsman just like you. Like, back to it. Oh, Link. It's really you. I heard you return. I wanted to come and see for myself, but I couldn't bring myself to bother you. Oh? Are you leaving for now? Word has it that Rito Village up north is going through a terrible cold snap. I'm talking the kind of freezing temperatures that sap your strength in the blink of an eye. Oh. So, if you go there, you may want to bring foods or elixirs that will warm you up. Rito Village is going through a cold snap. I put this here and then that goes there. No, no, that's not quite it. Uh huh. That should do it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Link, you all set? I just wrapped up here myself. The travel point is working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. Hey! We're ready, Joshua! Pull the switch! That puts lights on. Opens the top.
We still have hope. Yeah. Gondor calls for aid. <laughs> All of the Skyview Towers have now been activated. Yeah. Okay, Link, your turn. Ah. Go on the Purapad over that terminal. Go hold the Purapad on that terminal. There's the travel point. All right, the Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means you can now use this travel point to get here at any time instantly. The same is true for every Skyview Tower you add to your Pura Pad. <laughs> Impressive, right? Mm -hmm. But Skyview Towers are more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area, or more simply put, to make a map. The Purapad works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Uh -huh. Pretty great, huh? Hmm. Only thing is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill and nobody here had what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested this out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this. Yes! This item. Given to you by Pura, lets you ride the wind and glide through the sky. Press X in midair to activate it. Ah. Right, it's showtime! Let's start with a test scan. Mm -hmm. Now, it's time for a very first test launch. I mean, our first test. Just step over there onto the circle and find me afterward, all right? This thing's gonna shoot me into the sky, isn't it? Uh -huh. I'll be observing from the research lab. <laughs> yeah. When the next, uh, when the test scan is over, we'll have the final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has wreaked the most havoc. Best of luck. Oh, oh, Link. Okay, I have cable. That's what that is. Wow. I can survey the area. Like this. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> All right, that's Central High Rule. And then the sky is updated as well, okay. Central Hyrule Sky Acapelio. Okay. That's cool. That was awesome.
Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Huh. Good. That map is crucial to our search. There are Skyview Towers in every region in the world. You'll want to make a point of visiting them all. Right. Let's talk about the upheaval. That's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. Central Hyrule. The first report comes from Hebra to the northwest. The next is Elden to the northeast. Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, there's Lenaru to the east. The strange phenomena are concentrated in these four regions. Yes. I can't say for certain, but I've got the nagging suspicion that we might find out more. Ugh. Excuse me about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Um... Hey Doc, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in the Hebra recently. Hmm. And that's pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay, but this does sound like it's worth looking into. Oh, and before I forget, Link, we've asked the L Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the going-ons in Rule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help you out in some way, too. Mm -hmm. I'll be here directing a variety of investigations into the upheaval, many chasms, and new ruins. It's all, uh, I'll also be looking into different villages. Someone somewhere might know what's happened to the princess. Yeah. I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around Hyrule Lake. We'll find Princess Zelda, one way or another. Oh, <laughs> uh, you gotta find goggles. Oh. Sorry, can't talk now. There's something I gotta discuss with goggles right away about our research into chasms. Let's talk later. All right. What's going on? For my part, I've been thinking a lot about this village aside from the four regions I asked you to check out. I'm hoping to learn more about the situation there too. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, by the way, have you talked to Robbie yet? I'm leaving everything Puripad related to him. He was going on about the ideas for improvements with it. Uh, this needs that and that needs this and what have you. If you haven't run to him yet, you should say hi. Uh, I did speak to him, but is there anything extra that he has? He's gone. There's no Robbie. Oh, there! Oh! He's in here. Oh! Your goggles. I understand. Come on, please. Ugh, what a pleasant evening! Oh, it's you! You know, the Purapad of yours may seem perfect, but it could have been even more perfect! I'll need to head back to the lab when Josh has got the depths investigation sorted out. Aww. Come on, Goggles, are you even listening to me? Oh. Uh, uh, yes. Sorry, you were saying? Huh. I was saying I want to go investigate the depths. Look, you're not going to listen to me. If you're not going to listen to me, I'll just go jump into a chasm myself. Oh. No way, no how, you can't do that. The depths are far too vast for you to explore on your own, and we've only barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go galvanizing around down there, too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms? But no matter how wondrous they may be, it is far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow our young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul! If anything were to happen to Pura's favorite student, it would be the end for me. The end! Ah. But if I need... But I need more on that figure. If we have more info on it, then it should help us better understand the depths. What figure? Huh. Oh, Swordsman, sorry. I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. Joshua, head of depths research. Yeah. Let me get you up to speed. 
Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. This piece of slate, specifically the image depicted on it. Hmm. See that figure standing on two legs with one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that the mysterious that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. That's why I want to go down there, so I can see if there are any depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. Aww. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous and he won't let me go. Mm. Chasha, come on now. Tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can't find something about this figure on that slate. <sighs> and Link will join me! We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, we'll use your Purapad's camera to take a picture on it for Chasha. A perfect plan. Camera? You don't know about the camera? It's one of the Purapad's basic features. With the camera, you can capture a nearby scenery as an image. One that's stored in your pad there. Sounds like you still have more to learn about the Purapad. Well then, I'll teach you how to take pictures once we're down there anyway. There will be lots of monsters in the depth though, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see, I guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready and raring to go, come find me there. Ta-ta! Wait, hang on. Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry you got roped into all of this, swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he leaps before he looks. Yeah. But here, maybe this will help you out at least. Oh, times 10 bright blue seeds. Oh, and take this too. Um... The chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. But if you attach a blight bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay, you'll want to head straight south, uh, straight out of the lookout landing southern gate. You'll find the chasm goggles used just outside. I don't know too much about how your camera works, <laughs> but I'm counting on you to bring me back a picture. Oh, and please look after goggles for me. Camera work in the depths. Okay, uh, the south exit is this direction. We got Josh's profile, a young scientist whose genius earned her the role of heading up the depths research. Uh, Joshua finds it thrilling to be working with Pira, and though she keeps, uh, she helps with various investigations into Princess Zelda's appearance. She is glad. She's glad to focus her time on the depths. There's a well over here. A ladder. Cool. It's like a secret grotto. Um, yeah, let's, uh, we'll drop this, get that royal claymore.
Oh, that is... Okay, so this is below the uh, emergency station then. Okay. Alright, I'm going to head towards the depths before I head towards something like Rito Village and explore more. Uh, it's already 8 o'clock. I've been playing for 8 hours. <laughs> a little less than 8 hours, but I might keep up a little bit and having a really good time. Are you guys having a good time? I hope so. Still can't buy this. That would be nice. Awesome, glad to hear it. Well, the horse I captured isn't here. I don't think he's around. That's fine. He can go out and have... Actually, is that him over here? Yeah, it is. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? All right, let's look at our map. There's village ruins over here. Giant's Forest... Ranch ruins is where I came from. Village ruins, I saw those. I was looking for a stable, if I could find a stable, but I don't see one. At least not here yet. <laughs> You're okay, bud. Yeah, he's wanting to veer off a little bit. It's okay, buddy. You're okay. I didn't notice this little camp over here. This is cool. Maintenance is crucial. Ooh. Mentor. Sorry, I'm a little preoccupied to deal with travelers right now. Uh, that's what you are, right? A traveler? It is the safe here. Captain Haas's squad of the monster control crew is going to engage the monsters around here soon. I bet you I bet you by now they're already locked in combat with the monsters at the lair to the south. Uh. I'm not going to stop you if you want to go watch the sparks fly, but at least take some precautions first. To the south, okay. Mm -hmm. Hey there. You're a bit late, hmm? Oh, you're not a member of the mos monster control crew. Sorry, we just formed, so I'm not overly familiar with everyone's faces. Oh. As we speak, squad one of the monster control crew, led by Haas, is carrying out a mission nearby. Ah. If you go south on that road, you can see them in action. They're assaulting a monster stronghold. I'm just here for logistical support, tending to the horses, making elixirs. Come to think of it, I did make some extra elixir. Why don't you take some? Might come in handy during your travels. Mm. Well, candidly, I'm a little worried about this mission. New members didn't get much in the way of training. I wish someone with experience fighting monsters was there to help out. All right, well, we will head over there before we head there, before we head to the Rito. <laughs> All right, come on, horse. I know you don't have a name yet, but you're good. All right, we gotta get to this fort and try to help these guys out. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, there they are. Wow, 
Wow, they're really traveling as a group, aren't they? Huh. Oh. I'm getting ready to fight some monsters here. Not a good time to distract me. Hi. Link, hello. The last time we met was at Hyrule Castle, if I remember right. Hmm. I'm Haas, captain of Squad One of the Monster Control Crew. After our search of for Princess Zelda at the Hyrule Castle, I return to my monster fighting duties. Oh. At the moment, we're closing in on a monster stronghold up ahead. Once we approach their base, we'll wait for the right opportunity and then launch our attack. Oh. I apologize if I'm being presumptuous, but running into you here feels like fate. I must say, nothing would be more encouraging than to have you, Hyrule's best swordsman, assist us. Ooh. If we work together, I'm sure we can bring peace back to this land. Oh, this is so cool. Bring peace to Hyrule Field. All right, go run, buddy. Be safe. Monster control crew, halt! They are woefully ill-prepared. Begin the attack! Go, guys, let's go! My shield is badly damaged. <laughs> this is still fun, though. I'm so overconfident. I only have four hearts. And not any real good armor, either. Hopefully I can get some money whenever I'm doing these missions. I can go back and maybe get that knight set. Alright, let's keep doing it. Oh, there's a moblin up there. Oh, they got him. For Hyrule! For victory! Sturdy wooden stick. Good job, team. <laughs> Victory is Oz! Bravo, everyone! Hi. Link, I'm so grateful for everything you did for us. If you don't mind, could you come here for a moment? Oh. Just incredible. No monster is a match for you, eh, Link? Oh. Come to think of it, Link, I was told that you wield a special sword. One more magnificent than all the others. I don't mean to be rude, but your weapon doesn't seem all that different from ours. Oh. The one I heard about reveals its true power when wielded by someone worthy. Could that be it? Oh well, I'll be the first to admit when there's a gap in my knowledge. Oh. Uh, I'm so sorry, I nearly forgot something very important. Yes! Money! They're all like, he, he got paid? <laughs> it's part of the bounty given to the monster control crew, so please don't hesitate to accept it. Ooh. 
We planned to head southeast after this to Fort Hateno in Nucluda. Nekluda. Nekluda. Nekluda is what it is. Fort Hateno. I know where Fort Hateno is. I hope I get the chance to fight beside you again. May you fight with the... Oh, this is so good. I love it. Hell yeah, guys. I'll see you at Fort Hateno some other time. Let's see what all we got here. Blue Bacoblin Horn. Um, I might try using this and combine it with the Royal Claymore. <laughs> Damn, look at this thing. That's gnarly. And it's 21. Cool. <laughs> Put this on a shield. And that seems pretty good. I mean, this mob with shield... Is still badly damaged, but that might help it a bit. All right, uh, so we're in a new area right now. There is a tower over that direction, but that's it looks pretty well defended. I say we head back towards the uh, towards the big giant opening that we had. There he is over here. He's not paying a lot of attention to us right now. Oh. Sorry, buddy. I know you don't have a saddle, I'm sorry. Field chasm. I wonder if Robbie is okay. Oh. Ah, no! <laughs> hmm? Hey, you again? I told you not to sneak up on me. Can't you see I'm right on the edge of this chasm? My colleague who works with me in the Zonai survey team is down there. What would happen if I slipped and fell on him, huh? Huh? Oh. Do not startle me again. I am deep in my investigation work at the moment. So, do I just jump? I'm gonna go ahead and just jump. Oh, it's deep. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoa. How 
far did Robbie go? The depths. Ah. Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I'm Ponic from the Zonai survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived, uh... but he rushed along with such haste, and I didn't bring enough bright bloom seeds, and now I've run out. So I lost sight of him. Oh. I thought he was taking a short walk over to that glowing area over there. Then he just kept going. And going. And last I saw him, he was heading way out there, off to the west. Do you have any bright bloom sleeves with you? Oh, uh. actually I do. I didn't mean to put that. The simplest way is from with your hand. Ah. Those of us skilled enough with a bow will attach them to arrows and fire them off in the distance down here. Yep. Ah. Uh. Although this time Robbie grabbed me in such a rush, I didn't gather enough in advance. All right, it's okay. I got some. So this is the depths. Oh, dude, it's creepy down here. Guessing these are bugs I can collect. Deep Firefly, a multi winged insect that lives in the depths. It excretes luminescent elements that can be cooked into an elixir, which will add a faint glow to anyone who consumes it. <laughs> Muddlebud, a wildflower with a powerful odor that can disorient and confuse, making it difficult to tell friend from foe. like a shrine? Wait, wasn't the shrine up above us that same name but backwards? lights up the area. That's nice. And it's a travel spot. Nice. Is the depths going to be just as big of, as Hyrule going to be? Because that's what it feels like. The light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Wow. Dude, look at this place. This is nuts. It's gonna, I, I sw it's gonna be just as big, I know it. This is 
crazy. So, I feel like, because I came in right there, I feel like the shrine above us, yeah, okay. So this light root and the shrine above us are in the same exact position. We'll keep that in mind. Maybe that's the case with other shrines. Note on the table. Hey, you! It's really dark down here. Not even one bit of light gets here from the surface. Even with my goggles, I can hardly see. I really should have brought some blight bloom seeds with me. As one of the few sources of light, the glowing root growing down from above has piqued my, uh, my curiosity. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks harmless enough. This place is roughly under the shrine on the surface. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna... I'm off to the glowing root I see shining west of here. So you better hurry and get moving. Alright, um, the glowing root west of here must be that direction. Okay. Okay. Gotta capture all these bugs. Can't get that one. All right, I got a couple. Muddle bud. Hey you, still alive? Looks like this place is swimming in gloom. Get too close to that stuff and you're asking for trouble. If a guy didn't have any bright blooms, they'd be it'd be curtains. Then again, it's my first time down here and I still haven't kicked the bucket, so I'm sure you'll be fine. I just spotted something of interest from my goggles. It's shaped like that figure Joshua wants to find. I'll be continuing to head west towards one of the glowing roots I see ahead. See you soon. Looks like a moblin and some bacoblins, but they're infused with gloom, I suppose, or malice. Whoa, what? If you take damage from gloom, your maximum hearts decrease? Until when? That's surely not forever, right? That's gotta be... Oh, dude, that's such a cool gameplay thing. Maybe it's only until you get back onto the surface, but damn, that's crazy.
lot of materials. Amount of energy contained, uh, higher output than regular. Okay. Grass is gonna burn. Dang it! Aracuda wing, Aracuda wing, large, wide Aracuda wing. Arrows and thrown weapons fly further with this item attached, even in a slight wind. The eyeball, cook it. Um, it's constantly trying to focus on its targets. Attach it to an arrow to create a homing quality to the arrow. Yep. Okay. All right. We saw that in the gameplay demonstration. Interesting that all the zoonite is down below, but they come from the sky. I wonder if it's possible their true origins are from down here, too. Maybe not. All 
right, let's light this up. Nice, okay. Oh, here's Robbie. how bright that thing got. The light down in this dark is downright refreshing. Hmm. In fact, it's so luminous, it's almost like... Like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. Hey, it's you. You're finally here. I need to show you what I found. Whoa. This statue... It's standing tall on two legs, one arm raised high. It looks an awful light, lot like the figure Josh just showed us on that piece of slate, don't you think? Yeah. All right, get that camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right, I forgot you hadn't used the camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given it's one of the Pyropad's basic features. Hmm, give me that Pyropad for a second, all right? Well, there's the problem. Your camera is locked. And so is your Hyrule Compendium. Hang on. If I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this, and then you tap that, and... Camera. Capture images, the parapad, you can save them to the album. Okay. Yep. Boom. Now, you should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule Compendium. So, go capture a picture of that statue. This is a good chance to verify that it's working properly, too. Test it out. Experience is the best teacher after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I want to see how it looks. Huh. Couple of these images, isn't there? <laughs> hey, you! How'd that go? If you've captured an image with that statue with your camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it looks, Robbie. <laughs> So, did you get a good picture? <laughs> Stupendous! Looks like you've captured it well. I'm sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Lighting up that immense root, getting us a picture of the statue. You just started helping us research what's down here, but soon enough we're going to have to do more to investigate. Well then, it's time to head back up to the surface. <laughs> See you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Joshua wait too long for that picture. All right. Some very interesting stuff down here, but do I recognize this from anything? I mean, it could be like a dark nut, maybe, from... Wind Waker kind of had those proportions, uh, a Lizophos, but they don't have a tail. I don't know. Hmm. There's a whole camp over there.
All right, let's head back. vibe down here is so creepy. Well. I need something quicker. This isn't quicker, but it did the job. Bobkin arm. I keep saying Bobkin, but Coblin, I know what it is. Uh, no, I can see chat. I'm just not uh, engaging with it as much just because it's my first Breath of the Wild. Uh, Breath of the Wild. Here's the Kingdom stream, and I was wanting to just focus for a while because it's been, like, almost nine hours. <laughs> of course it has. But there's so much to explore and to experience, and I don't get to play again until Tuesday. Guess I should be doing this. You boys friendly? Super friendly. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to try it.
Um, huh? What is this about? Traveler's Spear, a spear used mainly by travelers to fend off wolves and other beasts. It's easy to hold and simple to use, but it's not degraded. Right? You guys are seeing that, right? I don't think it's degraded. At least it doesn't look degraded to me. Huh. Okay. I gotta find out. Oh, that's a big boy over there. I wanna find out what these blue flames are. spirit orb found all over the depths. Offer these to a bargainer statue for a variety of rewards. Mm. Cool. Oh, there's a lot of guys over there. Alright, bye! I just wanted to pose! Man, I'm in a bad spot. Ah! All right, so these are little tiny spirits down here. Which is really creepy when you think about it. Really creepy. Bye. I wanted to get over there, but... Ugh, okay, that kind of worked. For a bit.
know how well I can climb this, but we'll see. Hopefully I can stand up here. Without falling! Ugh. Maybe this is a better place to stand. It seems flatter. Yep, that's flatter. Okay. of these pose. We can take this to that statue back at the lookout uh, place. Get some bomb flowers from down here. A lot of materials down here. Alright, let's go light this up. I don't know what's up there, but something's up there. I gotta go look. I gotta go look. Something. Let's see if we can climb this tree. Kind of pause right there, and that gives us a lot more and more stamina wheel, so that's good. I think we'll make it. We'll go up this way so it's not quite so steep. And end up here. Okay. I still don't know what on fire though. Oh no! Oh no! Oh man, I'm so mad. Ah, I'm so mad! Jesus! scared me so much. I'm gonna have to cook some more when I get up there. Alright, let's just do this. Let's just go. One. Two. Alright, you know what? I know I keep forgetting it, but... Maybe that's not too tall for uh, Ascend. Let's see. Yeah, that's too tall. So we need to get up there, and then maybe from there we can use Ascend. All right. It's fine. It's patient. We got to learn patience. If we're going to be the hero, we need to learn patience. This is not going to be an easy quest. Mm -mm. All right. 
just for safety, I'm gonna go ahead and consume this. And then from here... I don't want to fall off, but let me... Send here. Hmm. Okay, so I see the fire. Is it just a poke? It seems more powerful than the other ones. Like it has a bit of green to it. Let's see. Oh, large poke. Okay, that gives us plus five. Nice. All right, uh, let's try to get over and get that large po. Oh, there's two large po's over here. Nice. All right, let's have a look at our map. There's camera work in the depths. I don't know what that is. Oh. Okay. I understand now. So I can probably just travel right there from here. Okay, cool. I don't have to, like, leave. I can just travel. Arito! So, they finally did it. Ah. Ah! Pen, well, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around the sky. It's great to meet the first one to ever be launched from a Skyview Tower. A real historic moment. Hey, what's your name? Link. Mm. Link, you say? Hold on. Really? Your name is Link? Hey, buddy. Ha ha! Ha ha! You've got the same name as the famous swordsman. Ha, good for you. Pretty big name to live up to, though. Oh. I'm Penn, by the way, and I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about this event so folks everywhere will know that the Skyview Towers are, about, uh, are being activated. I better get to work. Our newspaper is short on staff, so I've had to flap all over the place to cover the news. Hey, could you join? Uh, we could use another reporter. You should join us. Seem like a brave type and all. That's what it takes. Ah. Our newspaper is based in Hebra. To the northwest, you'll find it near the bridge that leads to Rita Village. Stop by if you're up to adventure of a lifetime in the newspaper biz. Until then, Zorlog! <laughs> cool. Bye, buddy. All right, Pen. It does kind of remind me of DuckTales. You're right. All right, so let's uh, have a look at our adventure log here. All right, so that's heading to Rito Village in the main quest. Head to Lookout Landing and show the picture to Joshua. Okay, let's show the picture to Joshua. <laughs> Success! <laughs> hey, you! Show Joshua the picture you took at the statue. The figure uh, matches up pretty well, and it looks darn cool, too. This is it. This does match what's going on the fragment. Yeah. Thank you, swordsman. Just like the slate, this figure must be showing 
people a... Uh, this must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were, which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big, big discovery. Now, what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping me with this stage of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? Zoa Knight times five, cool. Hmm. I feel as if these contain some kind of strange power, like maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you find them useful. <laughs> that fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles! Swordsman! <laughs> Thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. Alright, you're welcome. Let's see what this Poe thing does. You who stand before me. I am one who returns Poe's to the afterlife. Where they belong. Offer Poe's to me. They are spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. Poe's are pitiful beings who have lost their way home wander the depths of this land. Good, evil, that's the futile perspective of narrow-minded beings. There is no such distinction in wandering spirits. You have obtained pose. Oh, yes, this is indeed a pose. I have returned the lost spirit to the afterlife where it belongs. Since I was brought here to the surface, I have been unable to return Poe's to the afterlife. Because of you, I can assist them once again. You should take this. Dark Clump. An unusual substance. It's cold to the touch and it seems as though it's filled with pitch black darkness. Use it in a in cooking to get a gloom resistant effect. If you offer me more pose, I will give you suitable compensation. Dark tunic. Oh, I want it. <laughs> All right, give me another clump. Give me two. Offer them. I'll collect some more pose later. I want to get that dark tunic. My brethren, whose spirit reside in statues far larger than mine, are in the depths of this land. If you encounter my brethren, try offering pose to them. If you offer me ten pose, I will tell you the location of one of my brethren. All right? I acknowledge your offering. I will tell you the location of one of my brethren in the lands, in the depths of the land. Okay. Go to the location indicated on your map. Seek out wandering spirits for my brethren in the depths of this land. All right, cool. Great job getting the picture of the figure that Joshua was looking for. She was pretty happy to see that statue. And I was thrilled to show you how to use the camera. Inspired, even. The Pura Pad is even more potential functions, you know? Hey. Listen up. Big update here. Your Pura Pad can be equipped with a sensor that detects shrines. Come on. Act more impressed. I'm the first one in all of Hyrule who noticed the shrines after the upheaval. So I created a sensor to detect them. Only thing is, I can't set it up here at Lookout Landing. It'd be nearly impossible unless I'm at the Purapad Research Lab in Hateno Village. <laughs> That's right, it's a lab dedicated to the enhancement of the Purapad, which Pura and I developed. Once I'm in the lab, and you join me there, I can further improve your Purapad, starting with the sensor. You'll find the lab in East Nakluda, off the southeast corner of Hyrule. 
on the far side, on its far side, is Hatena Village. Go a bit farther than that, and you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you, it's a cutting-edge lab. But for now, Josh's investigations are my main priority. So, until she gets further along, I'll be staying here for a while. Alright, Robbie. Okay. Yeah, alright, so we've done a lot today. Let's, uh, have a look at our adventure log, and we can see what we've been doing here. We got some side adventures and some side quests. Uh, if we go to Fort Hatena, we can help uh, the monster squad. Regional phenomena, crisis at Hyrule Castle. What is? What do I do next for this one? Alright, I can't track Crisis at Hyrule Castle. It feels like that one's done, but it's not updating. Hmm. Okay. Alright, well, guys, I think now that it's 9.08, I think that's going to be it. It's been a very long stream. It's been a very awesome first day for Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Now, I won't be playing this game again until Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's going to be tough. Um, obviously, I don't want any spoilers, but pretty soon it might be nice to compile a list of things that I can do off stream that aren't very important, like, you know, collecting pose or uh, farming money, stuff like that. So I will make sure if I do, uh, end up playing any until Tuesday. It won't be anything in terms of story, character progression, or anything like that. It might just be killing some monsters, uh, getting some materials, and trying to get some money. So I think that's going to be it for stream. But yeah, I've been going like nine hours. Uh, I'm sorry, Indigo. <laughs> it's over. You just got here. I'm sorry. Uh, the game looks fun. I have to wait to get my hands on this game. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. If you're a fan of Breath of the Wild, you're going to love this. But if you're not, I, I think that it has a lot of uh, things that cover up some of the weaknesses people found in Breath of the Wild. Not me, but some people. So, All right, we're going to go ahead and head over to this area. We're going to give ourselves a good old save. If I, How do I save? What? That's a capture. What do I press to save? Is there a save, or does it just save on its own? That's sky, surface, and depths. Got a flag here, last location. Okay. This is cool. Same menu as inventory? Oh, okay, it's probably uh, right here. Save! Alright. That was a lot of fun. I hope you guys have a good time and uh, have a great weekend. We'll see you back here Tuesday night right here at twitch.tv slash blindwave for more Eric Plays Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Much love, everybody. Have a very, very great night and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.